Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Eat, Crit and Survive, presented by the Game Emporium. We are gathered once again around the table to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Hey. It's been a hot minute since we played some D&D. Because we, been a month, because we keep getting distracted and doing other things. So mm. that's happened. Life or, happens. Or catching sickness okay. bugs. Sickness bugs happen, other children happen. The small do. humans. The small humans get in the way. Why? The dog gets in the way. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She gets under the, goes under the table, she just goes to sleep. She is asleep now. No, she's, she's not. not. Oh. <laughs> she's licking Russ's chair leg. <laughs> well, well, she, I think she's she her paw. Yeah, it's her paw that is next to Russ's stop, chair leg. Stop it. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yes, I'm telling you to stop. What? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we are back. What you to can't deal with now. Sad. Sweet dog out. Yeah, we are back once again to play some D and D, and we are supported as always by wonderful people at Game Tea. We prepare our gaming adjacent gear and goods. They do some wonderful stuff like shirts that none of us are wearing, uh, artwork <laughs> that we don't have in this room, so candles that are here somewhere, and dice and other accessories like this dice tray with books and books and notebooks and yes. wonderful coins and uh, coins of wonder. Go and check the coins of wonder out because they are they're now they're available in the store. They are wonderful. They're quite yeah. good fun in the campaign as we have seen so oh, far the, and the coin for yeah. and coin for yes. And of full. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, that sounds different. Well. Of full? Well. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to go and check out some of the stuff on gamet.co.uk forward slash eat crit survive or use the code eat crit survive at checkout, get yourself 5% off. Some of that comes to us. Buy some of their stuff. It's great. We really need it's to start lighting awesome. the candles. When it gets into winter season, yeah. start lighting the candles oh, and yeah. just. It's going to be blankets. I mean, this room will be warmer courtesy of the new radiator. Thanks, Connor. But, um, I'm not sure. It looks like a dodgy fit to me. There will be blankets. Warmer, though. Warmer, though. <laughs> and that's all he asked for. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted more warmth, yeah. less. I didn't care about the look. Just warm. Yeah. Right. Shall we get into the session for today? Who has notes for us? I know Connor has right. his wonderful uh, doodles. From the last week, so that's doodle and doodles. Uh, we I, I have doodles, sorry. Yeah, no, got well, well, I'll, I'll insert a, uh, a snapshot Picture. of the doodle. Yeah, I'll put the doodle here. Where? Next uh, to so the bell. What? Wow. Ding ling 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 ling. <laughs> the top tier wow. editing skills. Tom, would you like to take us through what happened last time? I'm afraid it's quite brief this week. <gasps> Is it just this bit? <laughs> the end. <laughs> I um, die. Section 34. We decided to keep heading north. Maybe come back to this fort thing later if we feel like it. I'd like to ram the boat aground before we've been going an hour, in a clear example of dereliction of duty. <laughs> now we have a hole in the hull. We've beached the and princess. No extra cost. <laughs> we've beached the princess to try and fix it, but with tides and so on, that will take a while. Isaria went hunting for crabs and found a giant one with swords. I swear we are cursed. We won the fight, I think. The crab surrendered. Isaria gave it some healing and it let us into its cave. Grit found a coin and Isaria found the crab's training manual. The crab's training manual. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> now to get the princess afloat. Yes. That's it. That's it. So, uh, the party has been travelling northward back towards Fossfinger in the Damp Princess, along with their tar golden friend Tarquin. Uh, on the journey, they had taken a brief interlude to deal with a bird problem and then deal with a lighthouse problem, um, and then continued on northward. Due to not really paying attention to what was going on, Elijah decided to make himself a cup of tea while steering the ship and ran into a sandbank, punching a hole in some of the rotten woods. So you should just finish that with uh, the princess wet, rather than the float. <laughs> Not to get the princess wet. There you go. That damp princess is wet. You damp, you beach the damp princess so that you could make some repairs. Found there's a few rotten areas within there that could be repaired, but were sustainable for now. You just need to get Cassie and the carpenter to fix things up for you, which is why he was unavailable for the entirety of the fight I'm for useful. some convenient thing. Um, yeah, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> you fought with the samurai crab and 
dealt with that problem. I was um, bi- busy fixing our boat. <laughs> and Nobody having... tells me nothing. Nobody <laughs> tells me nothing. <laughs> What's going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you had dealt with the crab and you went and gathered loot, including a coin, a training manual for the crab, mm-hmm. and a figurehead. Hello. Yes, which was magical. Which was magical, as it turned out. What was? I forgot the, the figurehead. The buff male figurehead. You sort of with a wink. Uh, that gives you a uh, gives you basically lets you see through difficult fog, fog and such fog. obscured vision. There you go. That's it has to be attached to the ship. It does have it? to be attached to the ship. Yes. But did we just nail it? We just nailed it to the back of it. Yeah, yeah literally. Did not <laughs> you haven't even nailed it. You just lean, lens it against something. Yeah, it's, like, it's, 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 it's in the hole. I think just literally. Yeah. 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 You don't know whether that will work whilst it's there, but we'll you've got out. it. We're gonna find out. So with that, we come back to the story from there mm. so i think at this point you had completed a long rest good because i was wondering oh. if I... Can I Thank you. and you had managed to repair the ship in such a way that it was you basically beached it further up so that it was out of the way so that when high tide when the tide went out it was easy to repair and nice and sealable by a combination of tarquins tar and uh Cassian's ability with wood. <laughs> so, with that in mind, it is a bit of a drizzly day this morning, um, but the ship is repaired, the tide is going out, and it's about six o'clock in the morning at this point as you are coming to consciousness. The day is yours. What would you like to do? So sorry, where are we? Still on the beach? Still on the little beach where there was a cave and other bits. Oh, by the way, we are going to have to stop at some point because we've ordered the robots. We've ordered robots. Yeah, snacks. We are the future. But because this is a recording, we can just cut around it so that makes life easier. Um... Looks like the tide's going out. We should maybe launch the ship while we can and avoid the coming towers. Is it, are all the repairs finished? Are all the repairs finished? All the repairs are finished? All the repairs are finished! I see. How's your favourite work? Good! Yes, um, yeah, uh, did I know about the figurehead? Okay, yeah, Cassian had been told about the figurehead and could mm-hmm. have attached it should he have wanted to. Yeah. Okay. It's not really suited to fit on the prow of the damn I'll find so something. It, you make an investigation check to find somewhere to secure it. I'll say add your proficiency bonus because this is your wood crafty knowledge as well. Ooh, shit. Oh, you dice. Whee! 19! Stop plus... rolling 19! <laughs> no! <laughs> so many different or, dice. Or, or, give, or give me your dice. 21. Okay. Uh you are able to find a good sturdy point at the prat of the uh, stern of the ship that you're able to nail this onto the back of so that you've got the figurehead <laughs> looking the wrong direction, but it's it's there, it'll be above the water. And uh, Beautiful. Well, yep. Good abs, bro. Good abs, bro. But yep, so that is now applied. Ab goals. Right, uh, shall we? Before more weird crabs come. Yeah. Let's go. What what, what is the weather? What way is the wind blowing? The wind is blowing sort of, um, it's actually blowing out this time, so it's blowing in a westerly, uh, easterly direction. What's Tarquin been doing? Tarquin's been helping you with the repairs. Oh, okay. Chilling. Fixing stuff. No more tea! And steering at the same time. It's like drink and driving. There, there is no more tea. I have run no out more of tea, tea and steering. Oh I've no more tea, tea, so then you don't need to steer. I will steer. You steer. I steer. I'll drink. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is not tea. With the tide going out, you are able to position the ship so that it is able to be pushed out into the water and <clears throat> you can attempt to navigate it past the sandbanks. Can you make a this would be, uh, I'll say, perception check. Can I assist? You may assist. Oh, Thank that's God. shit. Oh. You asked to assist before the dice was rolled, so that is fine. Better. <laughs> uh, perception, uh, 11. Okay. You are able to, free. <laughs> you're able to sail around the sandbanks. Luckily, because the tide is still... I'm at the bow. Yeah. 
Luckily, because the tide is still high, you are able to sort of... And you're holding <laughs> on, yeah? Yep. You are able to sort of sail around them relatively easily. Um, <laughs> even if you do clip them, you do just sort of brush off them. Okay. And I'm moving on Stop with it. our life. Um, the ca- Where the is it? Where is it? Who's going to be the her number one? Why it? Did it? I'm not the kind of girl, etc. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, fights a samurai crab? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so with that, you are now aboard ship and making your way northwards. Downtown? No, very much uptown. <laughs> uptown <Down> girl. girl. <laughs> uptown princess. Brooks away. Okay, if I'm just turning into a music episode. Little tree musical episode. There's always a musical episode. Hey, 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 the musical episode. You know he's going to do a session where we find a magical object that makes us all sing. Oh, well, he is now. <laughs> Good. I hope so. And I'll have prepared songs for you. Yes! <laughs> and the genres in which we are going to sing them. Oh, it's going to turn into an episode of Whose Lines Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Just yeah. pull them out of a hat. Oh my god. I will all hear music. Even though no one's actually playing any music, we'll all hear the same music that we have to do songs to. Yes. Please make Tom do death metal. Please make Tom do death metal. I can do death metal. I used to be Metallica. In character. Ooh. <laughs> in in character. character. Is that sort of an example? Well, actually singing. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so metal. Should it be just screamed no in death? Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Pardon me. <laughs> you are still about at least a day and a half away from Fossfinger on your travel, so what would you like to do? Steer this boat. Say a bastard. Keep an eye out for danger. Okay. Throw no, caution to the wind and throw the ground again. Throw, throw and throw the throw the ground again. That's very much dependent on the steering. So you're looking out for danger, you're steering, so make a survival check. Wee. And some assistance with that. Sure. Make a perception check. Let's okay. go. Oh <laughs> what was it? What we want to do? Survival. It? Survival. Uh six. <laughs> Don't you get advantage on that for I already know a far I already know a I passed 10 bonus. Uh, yes. Bribery. Uh, no, I believe it falls under the marriage spell. <laughs> Sarah, man. Cassian can't see this cliff, but he's driving uh, to. Ah, six. Seven? Seven. <laughs> oh. At least we can see some. Like, like, I can see the sea. You can see the sea, yes. I'm sorry, just, just looking at a letter C, not the actual. <laughs> The blue wobbly thing with mermaids in yeah. yeah. Indeed. Mm-hmm. So as you manage to sail onwards, you manage to keep the cliff on your left as you're going further. Oh, yeah, literally, how could we go wrong, right? right? That's the easy part. Yeah. Yeah. Never underestimate us. Yes. We've kept it on our left. Real close. <laughs> yeah, when you're in a dark room, I can run, lick the you sand. You can run thing. your hand along the yeah. wall. That's what we're doing. Like. But then you stub your toe or something. That's what's happen. <laughs> so as you're going further north, you do have the sense of the weather starting to close in. The vision does start to get a little more obscured as it goes along. For a while, you were expecting, you know, you've got some decent vision with seemingly help of your new figurehead. Oh, but it's uh, working. Yeah. However, the rain does start to lash down significantly, no. and the sea starts to get choppier. So your view becomes a lot harder, oh. and your control over the ship seems to be a bit more problematic with it being thrown around. And you want to make a Constitution saving throw? Oh. I say that's why the roll was so low because I helped up until the point it started raining, and yes. then went. Nah, I'm not. I'm going to go back. back. I'm, back. I'm, I'm made of metal. I just go inside. No, 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 you're fine, honey. Was it con save? Yes, please. <gasps> oh, you oh. are going in the bin! <laughs> Along with my dice. Oh my god. That uh, 19 also, to call with it out. Can you also roll uh, one for oh, smoking? <laughs> this is where Grit. I need a sword. 26. 26? 26. 19. 19. 19. 5. Like grits, but 20 less. <laughs> <laughs> so, six. six. So, five, six. Cassian. Eight. Eight. Seven, eight. I'm going to roll. The boat's gone crazy. 
rolled a nat one. I still a set an A. Okay. Is it? Oh, you're still an A, yeah. You don't crit fell on saving throws. That's right. I still think you're an A. I think she's 10, personally, but... She's a ten, but she's a ten, but she's a ten, but she she's a ten, but she's a ten, but she's a ten, but she's a ten, but a lizard threw up on my boat. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a YouTube shot right there, or a uh, Instagram yeah, reel. Yeah, she rolled yeah. a ten, you can see that. Let's get on it. Um, Smokey rolled a sixteen, and then whatever his Smokey's save fun. is. Plus constitution. Just four, so no natural twenty. Okay, so Smokey, Smokey man, the forest lizard. He's great. And you two are fine. Yes, he's got legs. You, th- you steel. three are throwing up over the side of the boat. Oh. Sea sickness has thrown you. You are both. In fact, you are basically all under the effect of a level of exhaustion for the duration of the journey. I, I drive heave for a good hour <laughs> yeah, before I nothing. realize that I don't have lungs. Or Do you know, like a bit where you like you like. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, and you're like, I don't, oh, need I to. don't breathe anyway, and then all of a sudden it goes away. <laughs> yeah, but you're still basically all under the effect of exhaustion. Who's throwing up? The three of you. That's on the table. Oh, yeah. Right. I literally can't. This is why I'm dead. Yeah. Something inside. Something inside. inside. Right. With a constitution. Yeah. The Smokey's <laughs> just there patting my back. There. <laughs> Holding your hair back. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Cassie enough long hair. Yeah. 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 A really quick video that I saw the other day, and it was a woman in like it huddled over a toilet, and you know those little toys that you get. So she was going, Whoa! and it was a guy behind him doing that little oh, toys. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it sounded exactly like. <laughs> <laughs> Also, wow. on Cassian's look, what I always imagine is, you know, on the front, like a front cover of a book where there's like, oh, a bare chested, chest. yeah. long flowing yeah. hair. That's Fabio. how I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Fabio. Yeah, Fabio. Fabio, yes. Yeah. Fabio. Yes. Fabio. Yes. Yes. Fabio? 100%. Just slightly more Me slow, more. but... So as the ship is lurching to and fro and the pilot and the lookout are effectively vomiting over the side of the ship, what are it's you two bumpy. doing? The pilot is flying? <laughs> it takes off. I think it's flying. <laughs> 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 I, I will try to look out. And I will try to... Perception check, and I'm going to say this is going to be survival what using your strength modifier, because you are trying to... Okay, that's fair, okay. Well, actually, I'll say use a perce- perception check <laughs> for you first, this. and then we'll, that will set the DC for I the control. I can make I can't say Perception... Mm. Yes. 14. Okay. At least we're not vowing. Perception... 4. Okay. Okay. still be... Now, now the survival yeah. with your strength. Still this be is with controlling the... Survival with a strength... Flavour. Uh, 17. Survival 17. with a hint of strength. <laughs> <laughs> so yours was a four for perception? 14. No, 14, sorry. 14. 14, okay. You go to the prow of the ship and you're able to sort of just about keep the shadow of the cliff to one side, you think. The rain is really coming down and you are being thrown all over the place. Are going the right way? I think so. Wow. <laughs> it would really help <laughs> if I had less carrot on me. <laughs> oh, no. It's probably fish as well. Wind is blowing at you. Oh, Go yeah, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's that fish that Smokey didn't quite get all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you are no. struggling with the fun. tiller, just making sure you don't go, trying to keep yourself from going off course. Yeah. You're not sure how well you're succeeding, but the storm sure. is still blasting at you. The wind is picking up behind you, and you are feeling it push you along. I'm being more <coughs> caught. More than under, I'm trying to stay away from the cliff. So if we stay yeah. quite far out, that's yes. okay. But going into the cliff is not okay. Sure. So you are you are deliberately steering away from the cliff. Oh, Pro tip, guys. Okay. Pro tip. You are deliberately steering away from the ship, which, uh, the cliff, which is fine. So oh, you're steering away from the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to steer it and run away. Yeah. Yeah. But as you're as it's sailing on, eventually you do lose sight of the cliff. Okay. And all other landmarks. There is literally nothing. It's just rain lashing down. Even with the bonus that's going on, it's still pretty obscured with the uh, with the figurehead going here with the rain that's lashing down. There's flashes of lightning cracking into the sky, and the deck is slick and terrible. Well, well, I'm sure there was a what are you guys doing? I'm mending the sky. 
Oh, it's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> it's when you pass weather. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to play the wrong class, are I really? Are there sails up currently? Mm-hmm. Then we should take the sails down and put out the al- mm-hmm. put out the anchor. Put out the anchor. We'll definitely do the anchor, but I'm not, not sure. With the drop up. the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? The sa- we need to put the sails down. So. Otherwise, yeah. if, if we put the anchor down and the sails are still up, then we might get the mast ripped off the boat. Sure. Okay. Depending on the weather, but it could happen. The weather is substantial. So we need to take the wheel or do the sails. I will take the wheel. <laughs> Smokey, can you watch him, please? Smokey just grabs onto the wheel and just holding onto it. It's not very successful because yeah. it is. Left hand down! <laughs> I will go try to take the sails down. Okay, make a dexterity check. I hold I hold I mean, you can help, yeah. I, so I, I will help with the wheel. You are exactly where it was left. Okay, so this is going to be a strength check. <laughs> Straight roll, because you would be at disadvantage because of the seasickness, but you're being held by someone who also has seasickness, so the DC is a little higher. No, it's a straight roll, because you're being held, so... I'm being assisted, yes. You are being assisted. I'm before I review these rolls. Straight dex. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. With the help of a pal, you are able to get the nuts down, pull the sail down, and get everything stowed away so that the ship is not blowing about so much in the wind and being carried off. Athletics or acrobatics. It's straight strength. The straight difference is strength. Kind of a... Zero. <laughs> what would have athletics given you? One. <laughs> <laughs> it would have better than nothing. Yes. <laughs> well, you do, uh, you do get half your proficiency on all ability checks, regardless of whether they are a skill. So a strength a strength so check, you still strength. get it's still a one. Oh, okay, one then. Yeah, one. fantastic. <laughs> could have been two. <laughs> could have been a two. Well, no, because you're it wouldn't stack on your athletics. Could have inspired uh, someone <laughs> else to do it. Okay, so you have your half proficiency on this. You are holding on to the wheel as much as you can with this. Sorry, the two of you are just. <laughs> Mr. <Mister laughs> Potato Head, where his arms just. <laughs> <laughs> just being thrown <laughs> one direction or the other. The wheel is spinning wildly. She's trying to grab onto it. It is. get that tank down now. Like, yeah. What is the mechanism for the anchor? Is it just, it's literally just throw throw it an the anchor and a chain. You just eat it over. I will lift the anchor over and dump okay. it in. Easy enough. <laughs> dum, dum. You just watch the chain. It is attached to the boat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> there, is a, there's a, there is a port that it's it is anchored into. It's actually bolted into the ship, so that's fine. It's got a spool. Um, but as it goes out, it goes taut. Oh, Crap, the TD. I... Taut like a toy. Yeah, it just <laughs> isn't necessarily a problem. We can't crash into anything if we're in deep water. Not necessarily. We could be right next to a cliff and it could still be extremely deep. Uh, I think we need, might need to take a back, take the wheel. Sure, back I back when, the wheel when you I'll come back up, it, I'm holding the wheel. The wheel's spinning, and I'm just going. With it. <laughs> You're trying to get your spider feet yeah. off the ground. It's just slipping. It's just tar. It's I just Darkman <laughs> standing there going. No, I will attempt to get this. Is he under to control? Do can't save. He doesn't have. He doesn't eat, so he's fine. Uh, make this is going to be a disadvantage. So this is going to be a straight. Yeah, straight strength check. So strength. Ooh, I think something just snapped. <laughs> My patience. <laughs> five, five. I you tried crit on the other die. Oh. You grab a hand onto it. And you just feel the the spoke it's onto just snaps with the speed that How it's many turning. Are there on this six? Oh, there's, there's plenty. There's like five now. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. How many chances have I got? Probably yeah, there's twelve, it's but it's still spinning pretty quickly. So you don't probably don't want to risk it too much. Check clock. Yeah. <laughs> I get a oh, random oh. piece of two by four and try and oh. jam it through the oh, wheel. Oh, classic. And brace. Classic film. <laughs> Classic film move. Okay. Because last so, time you tried stopping a map in these many objects, I've learned it's all about leverage. I need a longer arm, that's all I need. 
<laughs> this is going to be a leak and stop the earth spinning if the pole's long enough. This Sorry, is... Red. <laughs> so this is going to be a strength check with disadvantage. Yeah, I've got this. It's all under control. I do not have this. <laughs> is this At any point did I not have this? No, I can't even see what that is. Three. Oh, yeah, no, three no. or a four. No, take your pick. You do get your half proficiency on all ability checks. Yeah, three. Three. I've took negative one up. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're still on negative. I'm not strong! No, oh, not. I thought you meant your, your no. limited from the core. No, no, this is just natural uh, raw yeah, ability. Yeah. Your testosterone yeah. flowing through these non moving So, veins. I need you to roll a d20 for me. Oh, Christ. Nine. Nine? You jam the plank in and hold it in place as the spokes snap. And it just. Oh, God, you just. Oh. So now it's just an empty wheel spinning with a plank being held in the middle of it. How does that work? How does it stay up? It doesn't. It's not on it anything. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just not on. Yeah, the you've point. just made a giant hula hoop. <laughs> which now... <laughs> 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 nope, you've got the central spoke which has got some broken splinters and then the big circle just falls off. So it's a hand. Yeah, and you now have no steering mechanism. <laughs> Admittedly, that's poor craftsmanship. Uh, that bit wasn't Whoa. the bit. That bit wasn't the bit that was broken. <laughs> it is now. Clearly wasn't built to stand the test of time. Yeah, it's only a thousand year old shit. Ah. Tarquin. Tarquin. Just... Uh. Tarquin just goes below decks. I've, well, I've sorted out the steering problem. Oh, uh, I don't know about you. We no longer need to steer. I mean. I can breathe underwater. Yeah, can you just like... go and grab the rudder? <laughs> just... Can I jump into the ocean? Oh, you... <laughs> this is only getting better. Oh, Christ! I was so desperate to How get the phosphor. How silly there. is it? Very. Ah, oh, can you I? Can. Okay, no. Can I? T tie a rope on yourself. First. Yeah, can tie I? Tie a rubber wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Yes. Right, can I grab the top of the chain where the anchor is? Yes. yes. And Follow down yes. the anchor whilst breathing and go as deep as the anchor. Yes. And is it quite how calm is it that deep in the water? I mean the water is still get is pretty still. Once you get like below like five feet, yeah. it's still yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I can I um just try and guide the boat along? You're aggressive not flipping that coin now, aren't you? The anchor. <laughs> he says, Do you think you'll flip the coin? And I said, Nah, probably not. It's just a short little jolly over to the to the next place. It's like, yeah, it's probably it's only like two hours or whatever, like, like a couple of days, days. whatever. It's fine. Welcome yeah. to the shit show. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, probably nothing happened. And here we are, literally no steering, jumping into the water to try and steer the boat. <laughs> I tried to pull the boat along. I'm so, like, uh, I'm like, like, like trying to use the anchor to like, like drag us. Like one of King Triton's dolphins. <laughs> 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 I was thinking more Jack than that. Might solve all these more. Okay, so you swim, you swim down. You're about forty feet down, holding onto the anchor. Yeah, can I like use the anchor, like wrap, like get hold of the anchor, and just like try and like swim the boat along? Okay, where are you, which direction are you swimming to? Away from the cliff. You don't know. Where you don't know where the cliff is. Make perception check. Oh, I don't see it. Are we yeah. not that wet? They lost sight of it because they sailed away from the boat. Can I tell it? which way is to safety? Make a perception check with this advantage. Decent. Uh, that's why I say that's wrong. <laughs> hmm? that's now, is that, that that's is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Should kept this, it. Nah, that's <laughs> fine. What, what am I? Perception. perception. Uh, it's a nine. Nine? Yeah. Down here, it's pretty dark, and apart from the occasional flashes of lightning, you cannot see very far. You are a human, you do not have dark vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring my door. I'm down. <laughs> I can't see where I am. I left my goggles on the boat. It's right for that. You let go of the anchor and you don't know where it is again. No, I mind. You don't your know which way is up. With your strength, you're able to clamp onto that anchor and just not lose yourself. You do feel that occasionally just sort of lurch in a direction of the waves. But you're still holding on to it. It's not, it's not so significant force. <laughs> yes. I need that. <laughs> I don't think it will be enough for this. No, story. no, I just need one spoke. <laughs> <laughs> just something to stop this thing from spinning. 
I mean, trying to cast an ending on the spinning wheel might be interesting. The spinning wall of death. I would attempt it. Okay. How? You cast mending. There is. I place it on a cast mending. At some point, I'm going to try time letting go. <laughs> The problem is about the... six point one seconds. <laughs> yes. The problem is the speed at which it, it's rotating a fair bit because of the way the rudder is yes. rotating and shifting with the wave and the currents. You're not able to line up the spokes wheel, and there's not and there's not enough of the wood that was there for the spokes to nail on. You could try and like nail the plank to it. That's a great idea. We could just smack the plank on there. Mm. You probably I... need to be stationary. What are you doing? Whilst you're that's doing that, that, what are you doing, Cassian? Um, I'm going to climb back up. Okay. I'm just get back onto yeah. the boat. Is okay. my seasickness cured? <laughs> no. Oh, but I'm in the sea. Look at the coin. You want the coin? What could possibly go wrong? Cassian's in the water. I'm out of the water now. Oh, you might want to get back in it. We kind of need you to pick it up. Well, I'm climbing up at the moment. We need a depth change. It can only get worse. Should I flip mine at the same time? It's all coins. Do you know he's got a coin? I'm cursing no, do you I know don't he, he knows you, got a, you don't know he's got a coin? No. Anyone know you've got a coin? No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mentioned you got the coin. Yeah, I think well, I did mention it. I did spend time. I was just identifying it, but I was kind of like... He kept being interrupted by you taking it from him whilst he was casting it. I've not really, like, announced, I think, what it does, necessarily. That's the wrong coin, remember. I know, I've not been, been very, very secretive about it. I've just... There's a coin. I've been incredibly non-secretive. Oh, we know. Like, not... Yeah. I think I've already really written it. more for this session than I have for the whole of the last session. I've written yeah. nothing so far. I'm, you know what? Right. But no, sorry, when I held my hand out, I thought it would be this quicker than it was. Now I feel like I'm just I don't um, miss beats, applying you know? pressure. Yeah. Don't yeah. because... Yeah. The cool oh, there it is. Yeah. The, co the coins that are in the past are put in box. <laughs> These are coins available oh, from Game Team. He's such a Your Thank you. What have we got? Lovely <laughs> shit. <laughs> Terrifying <laughs> boobs. Huh? <laughs> what? Shit. Yeah. Do you want your coin card? <laughs> sure. Yes. I might need it. That's why Cassie gets it. Together. <laughs> you didn't say a magic word. It doesn't have one. What? Ah, oh, yeah. Shit! It's the shit. Yeah. Oh, I think that's good. We hope that's good. At least the cracking. <laughs> a ghost the ship comes along. A, a ghost ship comes along and steals the Are the tartars better? Are the tartars better? It depends where you are. The skulls on that side is, is ah, uh, yes. covering yeah, this. Yeah, Mine's pretty clear. Mine's like a dead guy or not dead guy. <laughs> All right, so Should as, from the start. as Grit is panicking, takes out the coin and goes, <laughs> Flips it. Can't get any worse. It spins <laughs> through the air. As the winds catch it, you see as it lands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't <worry about> <laughs> I hope that lands at some point. <laughs> Just spins in the sea. You catch it and it lands. You look at the ship side and you think, okay. Don't know what that means, but I'm hoping it's going to work out for us. <laughs> Taking a gamble here. As it does, you feel the rudder start to shift and the spinning... Uh, circle that is now left of the steering column is becoming more stable. You watch as one of the ropes that is attached to the sail spins loose and the sail unfurls. The wind catches behind it and starts dragging it along. The anchor gets yanked and tipped up and lands in the ship. I land. I'm trying to explain how that sort of how this is spilled. It's like one of those like the wind blows. It's all great. The anchor just. Cartwheels back onto the yes, boat. Yes, basically. <laughs> but, uh, imagine. Imagine. Yeah, I imagine. land but on this, the deck. Yeah. Are yes. oh, you already climbing out? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You, as Cassian's down there, just yeets him up up the seas. He pulled it, climbing out with it. Um, the anchor pulls itself back onto the ship, just now on a pile on the ground, as the ship continues to sail off in a direction. None of you are entirely certain where you are going, you've got no way of controlling the ship, but it is heading in the direction. Well, you mm. seem to have done something. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Might be good. Is, is the ship more stable? Is there a chance of guessing? It seems to be. It seems to be not quite steering itself. The wind seems to be blowing in such a way that the tack is perfect for it. So it's able to catch the winds and speed along quite hastily. Could literally just be steering us into a cliff wall. I don't know. I mean, we could have been heading for a cliff wall before. We didn't. True. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it keeps going. I'm going to take my chances mm, with yeah. the mysterious. I, I, I think wind. it. I think it might be uh-huh. helpful because it put uh, the it put the anchor back. That's true. Rather than dropping it from a height and making a hole in the ship. That's so true. Yes. As you we'll can, as it continues on for about <laughs> ten minutes or so. On. The, My friends in a boat. <laughs> As you continue on for about 10 minutes or so. (laughs) You're done! (laughs) I was counting that was definitely five of us! She was tough. Tough is not smoky. But. And also. My friends are both a tar man and a lizard. (laughs) Also the pot of dark. And Mitch. Mitch, the pot Ah. of plant. As you continue on in this fashion, not entirely certain how you're not dead yet. Not questioning it. No, but you get to about maybe 10 minutes or so, the light starts to come through. You seem to be breaking out of the storm clouds and coming into and a huge open sea surf. <laughs> <laughs> but as you do, you come out of the clouds, the sun starts to shine through. You can see the cliff on your left hand side. And on you are side, you. on the good side, and you are a considerable way further north, oh. seemingly. Robot! And this is where we pause for robot. a robot break. Robot. And we're back with considerably more snacks. <laughs> so, and advertising for the cop. Apparently. So, as you. Much like our boat. <laughs> as you come out into these calmer seas, you still feel the waves lapping at you, but you are a good. You feel like you're a good chunk northwards. And you are in a position where you can repair the boat in such in a and stop dry way. heaving or wet heaving because we probably have to be soaked. You in are the completely drenched, the lot of you. Ah, it is not smoking. Is it joy? Oh, line him up! No, don't wait. Can you heat? Just can you warm me up? I'm gonna hug him because he's probably a little warm ball of fire. Mm. Come here. Mm. I am smoking and it's so cold. Press mm. digitation. Mm. They have heavy mics, have it, get when they get wet. Oh, extremely, yeah. yeah. It's just hessian, it's just. Is it you hug your hot water. Oh, he is warm. <laughs> but you are now in stable seats, you are able to repair the ship. I'll do some mending on the wheel. About okay. time someone steered the ship, like me. Okay, between you and casting, you were able to repair the ship so that you were able to at least do a bodge job so that you've got the wheel is reattached and you can sail it. We're not getting the deposit back on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, you've broken the steering. Oh dear. We promised him adventure. Yeah. yeah. But for the next day and a half or so, the ship sails perfectly fine. Yeah. The weather is calm, the sea is calm. Got a mark on it. <laughs> The voyage is peaceful. In fact, as you're going along, pal, make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Edge one through three. Okay, never mind then. Uh, uh, you think we you are see? Fucking brilliant. We today. are great. Right. <laughs> this you is my you... first bad roll. <laughs> you think you storm. see something interesting is floating in the water, but by the time you see it, it's gone. Oh, oh well. It was a really cool sword. We'll it was never an know. <laughs> It was Jack. <laughs> <laughs> she let go. She let now, go. There he is. She let go. Yeah. Hey, in, a, in a minute, we'll <laughs> run over a door. Captain Nero and the Nautilus. <laughs> 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 uh, However, as the... Do you string quartet in the distance? <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a whistle. <laughs> as it starts to dawn you, you're getting closer to your destination. You do see a... Higher right, point of the cliff. <laughs> it's on the other side. You do see a higher level of the cliff um, as you're going alongside. It is getting increasingly higher, and it's getting to about the same sort of depth that you were familiar with seeing when you were in the the canyon. Mm. You get the sense that you are getting more and more in line with near to Fossfinger. Sweet. Mm. Thank God, I'm all about done with being on this fucking boat. And sure enough. That's why we left Winston. Yes. Sure. After being done with this boat, you do come around the fucking point. boat. Fucking boat, sorry. You find no, the... No, it's a fucking boat. <laughs> it's a fucking boat. <laughs> Where the, the stack that Fossfinger sits upon 
his place comes into view in that alcove, I think, yeah, in looks yeah. that you are able to uh, turn into that is mostly <coughs> tidal, oh, is yeah. available. I reckon we'll just go straight to seven home. <laughs> oh, on this seven boat! Seven home is not absolutely not. La- very landlocked. I mean, I mean there's a bridge. Well, do those... Do that those, anchor just do for those itself rivers back on the go, boat. <laughs> rivers go inland, surely. The river went north. I thought it was so a bit of that. If we there was a whole mechanism oil. in the. Was there a whole mechanism in the cliff face that brought the water we, up? We'd have to go all the way up yeah. to Newfound Town and then back yeah. down again. And that's to go south through the canyon, isn't it? Or mm. is it north up? Mm. It goes through the, the canal to go oh, north towards Newfound Town. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I know. Oh, that's not. That's still not the way we want to go. No. no. no there's no way. You want to go pretty much due west. Water. From here, it's seven. So we need to fit the boat with wheels. Oh. Portage. You sir have paid too much to the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Not enough, no, I certainly If you're only thinking wheels, it's <laughs> what, 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 Says the guy who's never played any rocket. rockets. He hasn't played any Zelda since Ocarina of Time. Mm. Or Carl. As you come around the corner, you come across the... You see the stack, and you see where the... You can see the entrance that you had when you went into the cave and you came out of the library and there was the boat repairs that were below. It feels like a very long time since we're at this point in Vostranger. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But as you spent four episodes on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. As you, as you come up to it, you can hear hammering. Wasn't there some Leon in here last time we stopped by? Leon in? Um, there were some Leon in. They were the ones, they were the farmers. Mm-hmm. Blue Man Group. We hope someone So when well. you say hammering, you mean actual with a hammer. Ting! 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 Not any other kind of euphemistic no. hammering. No way. Jackhammer. No, he's bound. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't let go of that hammer, you're just saying. That was his nickname. And <laughs> um, as you come to the, sort of the dry dock, where these ships are, or well, these boats being held, you can see that there are two creatures that are working upon the boats that were there, the barges that were in place. One of them is a blue-skinned male human with slightly pointed ears who is working upon one of the barges. The gloops have evolved. <gasps> you are really misbehaving this evening. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you. You're the <laughs> I'm the problem. You're the Sorry, I'm just going to change your name to Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to throw distraction. Just trying to throw shade. He... <laughs> you both need to calm down. You're ruining everyone's experience. <laughs> My immersion is broken. The other creature that you see there has a large shell. Sort of tortoise shell. Shell, um, and is goes back to you and is working upon one of the other boats. Like an L size tortoise? A human sized tortoise with a human tortoise. You know there are fucking tortoises in this world. <laughs> I will break you. <laughs> I restrict it as well because I can't say it. Because like the three. Just sassy, <laughs> There's three of them, all wearing strange bandanas. <laughs> Excuse me, there were four of them and they had eye masks. <laughs> Not these ones. No, because that's copyright. That's true. They are adolescent... you got to change your episode slightly. They are adolescent samurai tortoises. Are you joked? Oh, no, he didn't go so deep instead. <laughs> And they live in the air ducts. Yeah, <laughs> the air ducts of the New H- Jersey. The H vacs. A squirrel, like sensei. As a steeple, tortle fighter. As a steeple, tortle fighter. Tortles are not hard. Total power. So back to my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> I would immerse you so hard in a minute uh, Ooh, into that wall. <laughs> 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 Promise to be a good time. Yeah. 
Well, you married Laura. <laughs> now you know why. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of jackhammer. Why? <laughs> that's, that's Link's bedroom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> As you are sailing in towards the dry dock, you do, these two creatures do turn and see you coming in. And they drop their tools and they come to catch any ropes that you might have to throw to them so that they can throw your shot. <laughs> Don't you? You did it. He did it. <sighs> Look at Tom, he's sensible. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, you've got to laugh now, Tom. You're writing it's everything down. Tom. Be stoic. It's all going down. It's all in the diary. <laughs> Your name, but also the unzi list. <laughs> oh. oh, my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So what does oh. Raphael catch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, herpes at this rate. Mm. Um, <laughs> no, the tall, tall and the... Uh, other humanoids grab hold of the ropes that you throw to them and are able to pull you into the dock so that your the boat does slide into one of the grooves. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Connor. He's just, He's just dribbling all over his <laughs> notebook by Ginty. Uh, <laughs> I was fine and they came on my nose. <laughs> We need to be in the state of war where these two aren't allowed to be opposite each other. I was totally fine. You're a Ross, Ross so you go. go back home, we'll join you by Skype. <laughs> you can come back by Zoom. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a good one. Highly absorbent. Yes, give it to him, give it to him. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, which way to on? I honestly thought you were about to blow your nose off. <laughs> <laughs> I half expected him to oh, wear it. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I've got a feeling I'm going to wear it. Touch your eye slits in it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Of course we So we throw them the ropes. Throw them the ropes and they pull you into the dry dock so that you are able to. The ship. Slide into one of the grooves because you're clearly in need of repair. Yeah, very much so. We are very broken. <laughs> Why is Bradley? There was like twelve innuendos just in a row in that. <laughs> they pull you. You slide into the slot. There's just so many. <laughs> oh, God, and that's it. He's done, and then you just say the next innuendo. This is why we need to get away from the whole shipping bit. Uh huh. Ship, ship, oh, ship, ship. Just it's a whole wet situation. The damn princess. You had your daddy to say I was the one bringing you back. It's not funny when you force it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Oh. So the damn princess. What about upstairs? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Do we go upstairs to get to the to get to the place? Oh right, we go. Are we going to talk to these two new people? No, you're no. <laughs> it's like no, my your your title is of no importance to us. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to stay. We will. I'm going to talk to you. That seems wise. We will. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for helping us talk. Total nods. <laughs> Oh, um, well, it's what we weren't expecting anyone to sail in here. Um, yeah, we weren't quite expecting to sail here. We left by land, but then we found the ship and sailed it back. Are you the ones that Winsome talked about? The ones yeah, exploring but, things? But, yeah, Winsome's my friend. How is he doing? He's well. Oh, glad to hear it. Uh, yeah, I'm Isaria. This is Elijah, Cassian, Grit, Pal, Spooky, Tarquin, mm. Mitch. <laughs> Do I address the plot or is it just. It's completely up to you. What's your name, sir? I am Turlemane. Yeah, I looked at the name and went, well, I'm regretting her choosing this name. <laughs> you could have chosen that. You could have done that. And this is Maris. And he gestures to the uh, water ganassi that is stood alongside you with her sort of slightly dripping skin, sort of glistening with the, the moisture. Right. 
Beads of sweat or beads more? Of, beads of sweat, but also just like general moisture. Okay. It just seems to be a little bit. Little bit looks like, almost a little oily. Okay. Okay. Tell me. It says uh, we are of the latest to walk in and be given roles by the seven. Be in Dane that we are ship builders and carpenters. So we have been charged with repairing these barges and getting them ready to transport goods once they have been grown up to I believe they've called it a new found town. Yes. Town now. For lack of a better name, apparently. I don't know anything about it. I, all I know is we're making these work. Did you come straight here? Well, I walked, we walked out of the sea. And, oh, um, right. But others have come in from the forests and the bee fields. But some came from the sea. Well, I mean, you've been given the job of fixing ships. I'm afraid I've probably brought you more work. Looks at the damn princess. Yes, that um, could take some time. Well, we're not really That's looking exactly to use it <laughs> again very soon. But all right then, it's good to have one in the fleet. Yeah. And it might be that Tarquin's able to help you with the other, but he's very good at. Uh, well, it's kind of what he does. He repairs. Okay. Looks at Tarquin. Tarquin's nodding. Ah, well, then it would be useful to have your assistance, Tarquin, if that's what you wish to do with your lot in life. You are most welcome to join us here. And Tarquin nods and wanders over to one of the barges and just starts inspecting it and just sort of putting it on tar just to see, see all some of the joints on it. Um, Maris is sort of wandered over well, a little bit confused as to what's going on and watches, you know, starts having a little com quiet conversation between the two of them. Um, it's quite clear Tullamain is the is in charge here, more than anything else. Uh, is there anything that we can help you with whilst we're here? Do you need to um do you need anything you or are you going to take the uh, the elevator back up to the library? Uh, uh, Why don't we go ahead and uh, we've got <coughs> quite a bit of any new dramatic developments here? Anything interesting More happened recently? Oh, there are, uh, there's maybe 60 or so of us here Whoa. now. We've had a fair few come around. Um, we've got uh, Melise and Darius. I, I don't know when you were last here, but Melise, Darius, Rubble, they're all leading the, the farming. They're the two Leonids. And you met them, the Leonids and the Earth Gassi, who were doing some I was going to say, I'm going to have to go back to We have the... I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. We have the. Uh, you chose uh, poorly. We we did finish the statue of uh, Vedan that has been completed at the temple. The zenith is of, oh, is of the seven. Uh, Nestor and Shale made a good job of it. Uh, Winsome has been uh, getting doing their various bits and pieces. He's had communications with Seven Home. I've heard. Um, Ivy and Clover, they have been busy uh, taming the bees, for lack of a better word, and uh, creating some discourse with them. I'm actually like a bee mode. What? There's a bunch of others who are uh, busying themselves as we're getting into the winter months to. Uh, make this place habitable once again and doing research and preparing to transport once the winter passes take knowledge up to a new found town and back to seven home or to seven home for the first time i suppose because most of us just appeared here i believe it's just you Ot, and uh, winsome that have been there but this is um, new i mean if 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 that many people have spawned here, how many people have spawned in Newfound Town? Or even even home. I mean a lot of people came as we were leaving Newfound Town. They sort of 
I didn't know you travel up for an, yes, ex- an expedition in Kashyyyk. Yeah, yes. but like, if people are just appearing in, in Fosfinger, then maybe maybe people are spawning wherever we go. Or where we, put or where we lay down roots. Maybe, maybe. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we must be doing something right if the gods are making more people. Yeah. Oh, that's a high opinion of yourself, but you believe what you will. Wow. <laughs> just drop kick this. I mean, how many of us are you know? I feel like we should take slight damage from that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going back to work now. Do you want me to let you know when the damn princess is fixed? We probably um, won't be here, so it's fine. Do we, do we want them to attach the figurehead thing on the I mean, if you could do a better job than I did, that would be grand. He goes around and has a look at the figurehead at the back. And, I mean, I know it's supposed to go on the other end. <laughs> we have two. Yeah, it's not really suited for this kind of vessel. We could leave it there if you want it, or we could, but at some point, we'll have to create a bigger ship to transport more things around the we island. We can keep it on there for now, and then once we get a bigger ship, we can grace it with its presence. We're going to need a bigger boat. All right. I've well, never seen that film. <laughs> film have you seen this? Yeah, true. We watched Guardians of Galaxy 3 the other night. Which I nearly said, which isn't a Marvel, a Marvel film. film. I it's nearly said it, I should have done. Sorry, I'm like, happy there. Not for a long time, but no. I have seen it. I'm happy there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Cornetto film. He won't watch Barbie. He won't watch Barbie. That would have been the first movie I picked to be like, I can't believe you've not watched this. What? Movie. Anyway, um, so with that done, mm. what are you guys doing? And upstairs! upstairs. Mm. Yes. Making your way upstairs. Go see okay. Make my way upstairs. Um, as you, you head upstairs into the library, uh, where the Blue Man group is still there, uh, conversing with a few individuals that you do not recognise that are busy doing various bits of research. Um, they give a nod as you go past and you start to head off. As you're leaving, you, Elijah, get a tap on the shoulder. It knocks you unconscious. Uh, you turn, you recognise the young boy that had been doing some research for you, Henry. Ah, oh, yes, ah. good old Henry. <laughs> <laughs> you could not pay. I couldn't pay him to do the thing that I wanted him to do. He just he wanted to do it. You, yes. He was just doing it anyway. Yes. Like, um... Hey, you uh, wanted me to do some hey. research and stuff. I did. Into, um, spells with time and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Um, there's not a, a huge amount of that here. This is more of a, a crafty thing. Um, but there was some books about items that have been crafted that involved that kind of concept. I didn't really understand it, though. Um, hmm. Take me to. All right, need, need you over to... We'll uh, catch up with all you guys later. He drove to a stack of books that he has taken off and put to one side for you. There's about three or four of them there. Um, it says, well, uh, there, you, there you are. Well, thank you very much. You may go now. Just wanders off again. Just turn the leaves. So, mm, fine. I sit up in a dark corner and read these books. Okay. Make an arcana check. Uh, by the way, your level of exhaustion for the three of you has worn off because you have had a, a day of... Yes. Yeah. I thought I just wanted to go seasick from the storm. No, okay. Yeah, it was eight, uh, eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Um, you spend a little bit of time reading through these. Um, what specifically are you trying to gather from these books? What information are you looking for in particular? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of waffle. A lot of waffle. Uh, large mm. objects of considerable weight being lifted. Okay, so it's gravitational, the sort of thing. Mm-hmm. That, okay. Um, you spend a fair bit of time sort of scrolling through the descriptors of what the, the theories of these things, and eventually you come to a series of experiment notes that have been written by a long dead in the column. <laughs> yeah, long dead wizard um, who basically says that in order to long dead wizard. in order to create that kind of elevation, there either needs to be a there needs to be some sort of conduit for the power that to evenly spread the magic around and it needs to be enchanted in such a way that it can lift and reverse gravity in that aspect. 
Um, the general consensus is that the best conduit for that is some form of gemstone, preferably a purer colour, cuts, etc. So like a very, very expensive gemstone to be able to channel it through. But it is doable, at least from his hypothesis and his experimentation. He's only really experimented on smaller masses and sort of like floating boxes. But he relates to spells like the Tensor's Floating Disc as inspiration for that sort of thing. He has to lift small amounts and uh, transport them in different places. So it is theoretically possible. You just will need a lot of magic energy in order to do so. Fantastic. I'll no. keep these books. Okay. No problems there. The rest of you, you have made your way mm. out into town. Uh, where are you headed? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, you grab a passing human, uh, who's at one in Bions, and that's where Winston is. Uh, Winston's probably up at the, at the Zenith Temple. Thank you. Good. I just wanted to go there anyway. Okay. Um, you head up to the temple, and you do find the, uh, the statue. How does, how, do, how does it everywhere look? Because like, it must be like lived in now yeah it's a little busier there's a, there's people wandering around there's a, a very soft hubbub uh but obviously this is a the problem the thing is that you have to imagine that this is a this is a city mm. effectively populated by a 60 village. yeah populated by a village so people are few and far between you do occasionally come across couples or trios of people just I was more thinking like like the state of the buildings i mean i know the blue man group kind of kept them up to date but mm. like Surely the, it, it must feel like that there's, like, it's not just empty and quiet. No, and... there are there are signs as you're walking through this, particularly this this particular road seems to be more well-trodden okay. because it's a, a path that goes pretty much directly from the Zenith Temple down to the, the small stack where the library is hidden. And there seems to be a little bit more foot traffic has gone along on the stone. And there seems to be... Touches of colour where there wasn't one, touches of life. There are a couple of window boxes that people have put into some of the houses. There are mm. curtains that people have managed to... <laughs> Why did you say that? Curtains! Like, I used the same way as curtains. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> Those lacy ones. Bless me. Not for me. No, I've got blind. <laughs> we've got fucking blind. I can see fine. <laughs> There are. It's cause, mostly because I'm just trying to remember the word for curtains. <laughs> My brain is for curtains. There are window coverings. Oh, um, me. But there, there are clear signs of there now being life. Not in, not in every house, but there are certainly a few, you know, along this street that you do come across. There's maybe yeah. two or three that you come across. It's, it's a big city. Nice. People will live in different parts yeah. of it wherever they need to base themselves. A few people just like these particular spots and they've chosen them. But it feels slightly more alive than it did. Yes, you do occasionally come across yeah. the Blue Man Gloop, the small fabricators just sort of Blue glo Man glo just glooping their way along <laughs> as the sort of general handyman. Yeah. I was going to say at least 60 people more alive. There's about 60 people more yeah. alive, yeah. Well, from when you guys left, there's about 59, because Winston was running down those fields. Yeah. Uh, but, potato, potato. But as you head up to the Zen Temple, you can see that the the temple has now got the six, the seven statues of the gods, the six that were already there, plus the one in the centre mm -hmm. of... Um, Wait, was that one already there? That was being crafted the last time you were here. Because ah, so like, it wasn't originally here. Veden was not no. here. No, because... I know Seven Home's the only place that has it. Correct, yeah. because the original... He's a newer god. Because he's a newer god. He was, born, he was born at the end of the last civilization. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They were born at the end of the last civilization. Um, yeah. But the other statues are still stood there. Um, and there are various people praying at the different statues. Um, particularly, you notice that there are two satyrs. Um, dressed Cider. with sort of, you know, just upper clothing over the top, basically, and sort of like we need the, we need the poo in it. a little bit. They've got, <laughs> yeah. they've got dresses that cover over the important bits, but it's pretty, you know, shorts needed. Um, they're sort of having the conversation, they're praying to uh, physis, um, whilst others are having conversations with, um, let's see, 
conversation with the sort of praying to Polites and just having general prayers and discussions around themselves. You do see Winsome is uh, sort of there, just sort of going around tending to the statues. You know, there are offerings that are left to them, and he's sort of after you know some more flowers and stuff that are looking a little bit wilted. He's sort of doing that tidying up of the graveyards kind of thing as he goes by. Um, and there is a line of maybe half a dozen people who are sat waiting and praying and sort of having that moment that you all recognise from your own life of praying to Veden for guidance of path. And that's something that you all had had some aspect. It's pretty much brand new, this... Yeah. Yes. A dozen, did you say? About half a dozen. Half a dozen. Half a dozen. So, uh, various races <laughs> and genders. <laughs> Good path. Thanks, <laughs> Mark. Um, as you go, you do see Winsome, who does, looks up and he notices you approaching. In a stark contrast to the rest of the people here, who look fairly... <laughs> Shiny and new, We're you are damp and battered, <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> you look I'm like a seasoned, grizzled adventurer. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You look like you've been. You look like you've seen some shit. And he uh, puts his broom down to the side and says, "Ah, my yeah. friends, it's it's good to see you. Um, good to see you too. Nice to see you as well, Winston. There is one fewer than there were that left. What's happened to Clubhouse? Oh yes, you're not there either. Right. There are two few of you. Where are the other brothers? Are they uh, are they? Elijah's in the library. Ah, Klaus is. We can only he's assume gone his own way. Off an adventure with Dash. He looks at you. Yes. What um... happened to you? Elijah got a new sibling. <laughs> it's not there. You look a little pale and pointy. Yeah, um... He just takes a slight step back from you. Aww. He's a little unnerved. He's From your previous oh, interaction, he's a little, <laughs> unnerved, a little unnerved by these um, vampiric So folk. this mm. might be a longer story than the right well, here. Should so we yeah. go somewhere else so to this it's, place? Yes, I think we should. There is a, there's a couple of buildings up here that are like restrooms and places for people to go and sit. So he, uh, we'll just... We'll go to my house and we'll go and have a sit here. Um, the first time I did. Mm. Well, there's obviously <gasps> news to you as well. Wait, wait, who did I do that with? Cafe, did I do that with? I was Genji. I don't know that was, that was <gasps> it's happening <laughs> again! <laughs> Small nose blink. <laughs> um, yes, uh, we can go to my house. I can make some tea. We can uh, have a discussion. I have a house, yes. I, well, I, I live up here. I like to live up here. I've got a little. Um, did you have the pick? Did, right? that was, yes. uh, the way I just said that was Laura, Cassie, and Daphne didn't go. You're a house! <laughs> oh, you got a house? Cool. Cool. Yeah. No, it's it's on top of the. Um, Bro, not. Bro. On top of the temple, actually. It's the best view. No, oh, I, no I don't. Motherfucker, no, I've got to the pet now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, no, you all go exploring. So uh, I can uh, clear the top <laughs> bunk. I'm a bird. I can go up here. No. There is. There are some houses around there. There isn't one well, on top of the temple. That would be a little um, problematic. Uh, but there, he leads you over to a house which has got a rather stunning view of the the ocean uh, to one side, and you can see the the fields, the flower fields, just off from the north, going around. Um, but he leads you inside. You, uh, tea? Anyone? Tea? Yes. Yes, tea. please. Yes. He uh, goes and starts. Mm lights a small fire and starts to brew up some water. Um, we take the map with us? Oh, he, drew, he drew a copy for you. Right. And he asked you to fill in some bits as you went along. <laughs> which, we have which you have done. Oh, okay, that's good. Some of you have done, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, what did, you, uh, what did you come... I noticed you... The storm stopped, the big maelstrom in the centre. What, um... <laughs> So long ago. <laughs> that was not the magic line for you. Okay. Yes. Um. So that obviously was successful. You haven't been eaten by a dragon, yep. so... Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, we've yeah. Had, we have you. Uh, no, no, that, 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 no genocide, thankfully. Nope. No, not yet. Yes, we managed to yet. be... Yeah, we've had our highs and lows, but <laughs> sorting out the dragon issue is definitely a fine. He believes you. <laughs> 
Yes, we managed to bring the dragon's child back to life. That's good. Yeah. Um, we found another... Uh, yeah, another library. Um, yeah. Oh, you found another one of the repositories? See. Si. Yes. Yeah. This... We f we went on. We <laughs> <laughs> just spent. See, we went on. <laughs> it's more, yeah. That one seems to be more about magic and that kind of thing. So making really? stuff. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, well, and, and a different guardian, not not fabricators. Um, uh, bones. An animated skeleton. Bones. Yeah, agreed to let us call them bones because they bones. Been to those for so long we couldn't remember their very name. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Like, but if they like to be known as Bones, then that's good to know. Mm. And where was this city? He takes out <laughs> one of his maps. And... Well, the Maelstrom was, was so... at the, not quite the centre of the city, but uh, just on the cusp, on the edge yeah. of the city. So oh, we'll put it out on the map and go. Yeah, um, yeah, this place, and it's called Korok. Korok, okay. That's interesting. So I remember you used to explore at some point. How's the journey going that way? What's going was tricky because of the storm, which affected our magic right. quite a lot. Oh, I've just got over that. Yeah, that was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. It uh, it made it made oh, things quite thing. difficult, and there was some. There are some nasty goblins along the way as well. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And trees. That's two potentially dragons. And dragons. And is that oh. where you met your fate? I don't know quite how to describe what happened here. You've um, clearly changed. Yeah. Um, when did that happen? <laughs> it was goblins. goblins. We, Before we, we went to the maelstrom. Yeah, we, yep. we thought we got ambushed pretty much um and in a big fight and um well C cassian was in danger and Sounds about right. was going to, was well, i suppose he was going to get killed um so i, I tried to attract distract the big boss that was attacking him and get them to fight me instead which I mean, I mean it, miss, it, mission accomplished, it, yeah. It works, but not in the best way. Um, right. Yeah, it seems that I died, um, but Klaus and Elijah are already kind of dead, and Klaus was able to use that to make me into something like him rather than ending up dead oh, that's rather concerning it's very concerning um i'm i think i was given the choice of whether to go into the mother's embrace or come back and because I wanted to stop the dragon and the genocide, I decided I had to come back, but with refusing to go to the mother, I I don't feel good about it. So. Mm. I the mother isn't my patron. Um, I was more of a follower of uh, Pelites, but um. It, I don't know, are you planning to parade scared? Do you still have your connection to her, or...? No, I don't... I, I still seem to have... magic... but it feels like... the source of the power is... different. I don't feel... that divine connection is anymore. It might just be I'm drawing on my own spirit. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we did find <coughs> one thing though, that the magic library said there might be some magic that can undo this and put me back to how I was, but it, I think it's going to take more magical knowledge than we have at the minute. Right. 
uh, unfortunately, it's not a, an area of my speciality, but um, I, it's certainly one to think about. And if we do send a, an expedition that way, they might be able to do some research, I suppose. Oh, I'd be very grateful if they can find an answer. We can certainly try. Um, well, tell me, what, uh, what other matters have you come across? What other, anything exciting, any other interesting aspects? Uh, there are those giants that were playing by throwing rocks at each other. Hmm, and then started throwing rocks at us. In a fun way. The mines. Did we come back after the mines? You did come back after the mines. Yeah, because it was about the dragon. dragon. Okay, that's fine. When we left the dragon. Oh, yeah, there we did. Mm. Yes, you're right. Mm. Um, well, there's some, there's some big machines down at Korok that seem to be sort of clearing away the rubble and oh, the, yeah. the waste. Yeah. Yes, there's a big, big metal like serpent. Like spider sort of looking. But serpent, spider looking serpent, says shaped, sized horse. <laughs> you should never get looked this up for the whole of this campaign. Well, all all I know size. is that Laura's sleeping on the sofa tonight. <laughs> um, it's a very comfortable sofa. It's it alright actually. Yeah, the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> and the daily. Make a, you've been replaced. <laughs> it was that easy. It's fine, Flat I can, screen TV and a dog. It's fine, I can start it on the bed. It's great. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, um, oh, the mechanical things, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Talked about the dragons and the goblins. Um, we've been on the sea for the last like four days. Well, there's the, there is the giant two-headed eagle, eagle. To, to make I mean, with um, probably most relevant what? is the great big fort lighthouse. with the lighthouse, yeah. yes. which uh, I will point out where it was on the map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, don't go there if you are with a lot of dead people, they won't like it. Do I want to know how you found that out? Um, Azaria basically plunged to her non-death death there there was a lighthouse beacon thing next to the sea where we, which was where we got at this place um and then it was only when we got up there we discovered there's a whole fort and castle thing um and yeah turns out light, lighting the flame Seems to have a repelling effect on those who are no longer normally mortal, who have died but are still around. The yeah, undead. The yeah, undead. Interesting. Yeah, dead. Also worth mentioning that there are still some animated <laughs> undead things. Yeah, we thought to just there. leave them to it. Some okay. left, but they could be roaming, they could have gone back. So take your strongest and your swiftest. It's not or, fun. Might or, push, might be us. Might or be leave us. it for, for a minute. Yeah. We'll probably go back there. Yeah, I think I'll clear it out sometime. Um, but I mean, really, <laughs> the, the main reason we've come back is the fact that we need to get back to Seven Home. And has anyone else noticed that the one guy we really need to take back to Seven Home isn't here? He's in the library. I'm surprised you're happy to trust him to not run. He well, he seems to want to get back to Seven Home as well. Does he? It's, it's interesting that you say that Seven Home. We've had some uh, conversations. For, um... Yes, you keep that on. You let's have yours. Well, we you seem we've had a, a bit of a boom in populace here. We've had a, a bunch of people come in, all sorts of crafts folk that can help make this place ready. We've got a bunch of farmers. I think this land is incredibly fertile, um, helped by the giant bees for. Certainly for spreading, Bees. making the uh, bee droppings, <laughs> pollinating. <laughs> also known as bee droppings. <laughs> also bee droppings. I have no idea what bees. Just been what flowers bees, everywhere. Bees defecate. How does that happen? They simply do. They just... That's what a bee sting is. Yeah, it falls off. And they produce a new one. Yeah, these bees definitely don't... not how bees work. These bees <laughs> they might. They just die shortly after. These bees might. Um, 
But we've been we've been communicating with the bees. We've um, we've managed to set oh, in a position where we can plant our vegetables, and uh, we've managed to gain some of the mm. local wildlife and um, corral them into certain matters. Have you just Googled bee poop? Yeah, bees do poo. I assume they would. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you idiots. <laughs> hey, you dumbass. Um, we all questioned it. But uh, we yeah, so we we're, we're, we're starting. Where are would the knees be? <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. Ah, um, no, so we've we've got a we've got a good uh, farming community. We've got a good general maintenance community. Um, we're we're doing all right, I think, at the moment. We're hoping to build up more, get a little bit more knowledge. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> so we're <laughs> Do We're, bees have knees? If you please. <laughs> <laughs> bees do have knees. Now stop, or I shall sneeze. Uh, they, you, we are working on uh, building our knowledge so that we can take some of it up to Newfound Town. Um, we're planning on, once we have managed, uh, once we've gone through the winter, we've managed to repair the barges. We're going to take uh, vegetables and such, and uh, mead and things like that up north and assist with the reconstruction there. They have quite a more substantial construction project than we do. We've had a couple of uh, messengers come down uh, from there, but... Um, oh, we you had buildings to start with. They're, they're kind of buildings. But we did start. rather just get away with it quite yeah. nicely. Um, but we, we've had word from Seven Home. Um, who's, who's running Newfound Town? Uh, Grindos. Still. He, cool. Yes, he's still, he's still in charge. Um, but yes, uh, Brother Oswald reached out, in fact. Um, there was apparently an incident in the village, um, back at Seven Home, about a dozen residents suddenly vanished. That's very, <laughs> very dramatic. Very dramatic. <laughs> tea, tea's just gone everywhere. Yeah. They uh, suddenly vanished from their homes. Um, it was maybe... ten days ago or so? Did anything happen to us ten days ago? I just don't think it did. I'm just trying to see if anything matches up. On um, did we stop the spinning typhoon? No. What did ha What was ten days ago was when Isaria and Elida died. When? 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 Well, Grix killed Elijah. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when Isar that was the day Isaria died. Ah. Uh, it's only been ten days. Oh, God. It's only been ten days. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What? Well, if you kill the vampire, the spawn <gasps> dies. Whoops. Oh no. So I just killed <laughs> ten, ten people, people just by dropped proxy. down dead, yeah. <laughs> Oops. I don't know if that's ever been shared with the party though. No. That's the first one, yeah. But I would make I mean, not that make that so shit, but I. You would know that. Oh, right, out, that happened out, ten days yes. ago, right? Out of game. We yeah. just realised it was in game. Once you think this happened, either that was the case, or you guys somehow magically managed to go all the way to <laughs> someone home, really to feed me to feed on them, then come back in time before everyone woke up or something. I got a message saying that what? someone was talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have been in the. You were in the cocoon. cocoon then. Maybe you were teleported by the cocoon. Apparently, uh, something similar happened in Newfound Town. Um, Grindos let that know. Um, Horace, the architect there, and a couple of others just disappeared oh, without a trace. I made a note about Horace. <laughs> Horace, <laughs> vampire? You <laughs> never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, just died in natural causes. Well, okay, well, I just solved the world's vampire problem, sort of. Or did you murder a lot of innocent people? Uh, well, some of those were responsible for what happened, so... Some of those were responsible. Well, we know they could be gone missing because of reasons that we... We don't know how they made that definitely. Mm. I don't know if there was any in-character reaction to any of that stuff. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, no, Cassian. Very much, yes. Cassian <laughs> okay. would not Grit, have you, um, I will... What would I... What would uh, Grit do? Grit would... <laughs> <Shit> himself. <laughs> WWGD. Basically, the first like three seconds where I'm like, oh. Are you doing that meme? The meme uh, just. Uh, oh. What? 
Would I verbal? I wouldn't verbalise it yet. No. Okay, great. It's having a galaxy <laughs> brain. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Of course, you're not there. You yeah. Don't even yes, realize. there's not enough to confirm. Yeah. Theory. Yes. It's a theory. What's a theory? <laughs> it's so bad, but I would have been the one that did it, and I would have forgot. Yeah. That that would have happened. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I should have been more careful. <laughs> know that information yet either potentially so i think be... yeah. i think you did mention it in passing to hisaria I've, I've mentioned to you mentioned it because it was if, if you Klaus die dies, if Klaus dies is zaria dies, dies. Yeah, yes yeah that's the extent but obviously we don't know but how many of these I'm guys not, been getting around i'm not sure i know elijah died because i was in a cocoon at the time i told you yeah, he has also you died know. since then. Oh yeah, because you would have known why Grit doesn't like Elijah anymore. The fact that he stabbed. Him. Well, he died ten. He did die several times ten days ago, but then he died again like four days later yeah. after the. Ah, they were already dead. I've died like four times. <laughs> in the Rece- space of a week. Recently, yeah, yeah. <laughs> four times in a ten day. <laughs> oh. Okay, so if I knew, if if it's Ari, I know it's that. Some people call it a habit. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a bad one. Actually, no. Sorry, it would have been a. It would have been about. 15 days. <laughs> 15 no. times. But, so, yeah. I know the times match up. It, yeah, the time frame lines oh, yeah. up is just my brain yeah. remembering no, 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 things. things. Mm. Didn't... Yes, maybe we should discuss it, that later. Didn't it end like, yes. up dying yes. while it, yes. I was... Yes, the... yes, that's good, yes. What? Elijah um, died? Um, yes. <laughs> kind of. That's great. He claims to be... Hard to kill permanently, and so far, <laughs> that seems to be borne out. Um, but when he was talking about what Klaus did to me, he said that if Klaus died, I would die as well. Oh, okay, so Elijah has done this to At a lot of people. people. Plus a few more. Ten was just in seven home, and there was there a, was a dozen disappeared, and then there was about three or four more up in Newfound Town. That's sixteen. <laughs> 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 the disappeared or just dropped down? They there. it was at night, so I think they just disappeared from that. No pile of ash. <laughs> there, what, well, they, there was a pile of dust left behind, apparently. Oh. But... One okay. pile of dust? They all hugged together? <laughs> someone, had a, someone had a trident, and all of them all huddled together. <laughs> 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 oh. <clears throat> oh. So... I mean, I, oh, I was worried about this... Possible spread, but it's at least slowed at this point, right? Even though Klaus isn't dead. Also, we don't. This could, those could just be the ones in our well, no, head. Except that you'd Klaus be dead. dead. You'd oh, yeah, be Klaus, dead. yeah, Klaus isn't dead. It's good beacon. Sound like my problem. I'm not that concerned. Yeah, you're just <laughs> keeping an eye on it. Every, everyone I wake up, it's fine. It's roll, right. Just roll the D20 every day, just like, well. <laughs> We were planning on taking it, uh, going with Elijah back to Seven Home to bring some justice because of the other quick <laughs> things that we <laughs> think he's done. Yeah. This is like your fault for Chris was the one that yeah. stabbed yeah. you. Yeah. That's what I say, I've killed like 16 yeah. people. I mean, yeah. if, if you hadn't, <laughs> they would have still died anyway. Yeah, they would have died anyway, but. And also, oh, you know, it's fine. Well, but yeah. So you kill people, he's killed people. Well, I've killed the people who killed our people. We don't know if they all killed our people. They could have been Interesting innocent. technicality. He died as a ham before you killed him. Oh, but you don't know he died as a ham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, so, oh, so you think you I killed think 16 your people fault. Yes. by proxy. There's literally no 16 way that you could find out otherwise. No, there's <laughs> not. You were, would you even know that you died as a I ham? I went to the warehouse. 
I was just slightly glazed in the sun. <laughs> Fat man jogging, really. Because <laughs> sentences that you don't oh. expect to hear in any <laughs> circumstances. Yeah. So just a glazed ham. <laughs> I died as ham. Do you know who jogging. specifically? Who, who would have thought that would come back to be plot relevant? Yeah. <laughs> yes. There you have. Do you know who specifically? I don't. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough conversation. Pull their dental records now. <laughs> I think mean, Brother Oswald might know who they were. Okay. Another reason to go head back. Yes. He only he only has twenty five words that he can uh, pass on at any one time. <laughs> he didn't want to waste them on a list of names. I assume. Well, he had enough to tell us that there was a problem. No, there's fifteen people. He had at least ten additional words. I don't know. I. <laughs> It's fine. Or they could have gone missing for another reason. They could have done, we don't know. But we know they're not there anymore. No. I mean, we have the lads not strong Do, do we tell an about this? Does Elijah already know? Well, I don't know. I think the real question you need to ask yourself is, does Elijah care? You're not helping you guys here. <laughs> I think we've solved a problem for Elijah and a little bit for everyone else. Yeah. Elijah um... said to us that our friend got butchered, supposedly wasn't Elijah, supposedly was the spawn of doing that. So my whole Revenge path has basically sorted itself out completely. In all fairness, with one swing of a sword, you solve all of your problems. Yes. <laughs> I can the, never, and I, I can never prove either. It's way. the biggest single hit you're ever going to do. <laughs> you're 16 people with <laughs> one yes. Yes. on a completely immobilised yes. target yeah, and yeah, fight yeah, back. Yeah. So I can't ever prove that otherwise now. Um. Yeah, and Do know be, being fair, we now aren't going to be able to show if they, the ones that were changed, did volunteer or were forced. It's sort of a bit convenient, really, isn't it? Isn't it just? Where's my guy asked you to do it? So, I think we already have that conversation. I don't think there's any advantage to withholding the information. Yeah, and it's going to be news when we get back to yes. Seven Home anyway, so there wouldn't be much point trying to keep it secret. Yes. We're all playing checkers and Luke's playing forty chess. What's <laughs> <laughs> mm. like when they talk about it if he ever has text to speech? Um, You've written an entire essay at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next time it's just Tom reading out his notes from this section. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. 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 Gossip. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Um, just, to fill, just to fill you in, um, some. Yeah, some of whilst we've been having this Grit sort of discussion, he's been pouring out tea and the hands into yeah, each of you. So, some of Grit and Cassian's uh, friends were in the jail in Seven Home, but they were they were murdered there, and Elijah was the main suspect. I'm for as far as we were concerned, but uh, he claims it was it wasn't him. It was. The jailer, or maybe someone, Kyrie. He he had changed. Who would lost control of themselves? I would like to do an insight, please, on with some of all of this information. Make an insight check. Trying to just figure out two things. Okay. One is does this look like this news? Okay. I.e., is he secretly evil and in on this whole plot? Two. What? Yeah. What's his? I knew he did one earlier as well when we were telling about. 
the library and the map. I wanted to see how keen he was and stuff, but I didn't. Uh. Um, two, I don't know why I'm so suspicious as a character in this campaign. You are I always, sus- you am. are always suspicious. You, in- you inside everybody, <laughs> which is good because no one else remembers. Uh, and it. second, uh, well, not very good at though. The second thing is, uh, yeah, more specifically about, yeah, the Jada being mentioned and stuff. I don't want to try understand what the relationship might be okay. based on the response. I think that's probably how I'm trying to summarise it. I don't think I get any better. It's a straight roll, which is a sort of sad nine. Nine? I've got a triple check, but I'm Say sure, a yes. nine. Okay. Um, Winston's reaction throughout the whole of this has been contemplative and has been trying to sort of piece together the ramifications and trying to discern Sort of studying your reactions to the revelation of the news that he's been giving. You've been having a very obvious reaction to the fact that it's died and he's been thinking about these sorts of things. In terms of reaction to the jailer, it, he's a little hard to read in that aspect. He obviously he knows the jailer by name, but at the same time, you all knew the jailer by name because he was the jailer. He was that guy that you were in prison with. Uh, particularly those who are of a, set, a younger generation, which some of you are, were warned by, you know, warned by, you know, educational, don't do anything bad or he will get you, kind oh, of thing. Oh, no, he's the boogeyman. Yeah. Well. Oh, jail. boy. So, it's kind of a don't piss off the policeman yes. kind of thing. Yes. Don't yes. <laughs> Put you in a room. Put you in a room. bucket. So, nothing, nothing makes you feel... Awkward about Winston? It doesn't make you feel like he's sure. No, yeah, he's anything other than just knows who people are. Sure. Okay. He's not a secretly bad guy. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> so, what are your intentions from here? Are you going to rest up and travel on, or are you? Um, are you do you have a plan of where you're going to go through next? And you still have that that ledger that I came across last time that uh, was leading towards Glacier Old. Mm, heading down south, it got dangerously cold. Mm. We need to prepare we better to prepare for that. Us. And obviously now definitely checking on Seven Home. Yeah, um, and... It's, we definitely need some investigation into Elijah and what's gone on. And there is this question of what happens if someone like him or now like me loses control. So I was hoping to research for weapons that are good at killing Things like me. There might be some information down there. It suddenly it seems like this would be the place where that would lie. You're ripping up all those books now. (laughs) 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 Uh, And then, yeah, I think heading off to Seven Home. What time of day is it now? Now is probably early afternoon, one, two-ish. I mean, you're more than welcome to uh, to take a rest. Um, there is good fucking found this place. Mm, <laughs> yeah. you take a take a home and uh, make it yours, and you know there's plenty of spaces. You can just have one each if you wanted to, or share whatever you want to do. Um, there appear to be, um, I think, some of the local group of looking to try and make up some sort of tavern but they obviously there's no alcohol yet because I've had enough time to brew anything but we might be getting some uh, transported down from New Fountain because I think some people took it up to New Fountain from Seven Home and they might bring it down later on in the year but we don't know how does with no money how does a tavern work trade 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 barter yeah what but or yeah, or just a or just a man along the way, or just, or just for the public good. Yeah, because they were originally free houses. Do we sell these giant grapes? 
a very far. Yeah. Well, they. I think you planted some of them. We did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a bunch of red seeds, the and holding. they were in the bag of holding. Then the bag of holding caught on fire. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. The bag didn't cause it. Catch on inside fire. of the bag. The bag was set on fire. Oh yeah. The inside the entire pocket. Pot, pot I think you did. You on. did have some seeds that you planted prior to departing the first time. Oh, it was already here? Yes. Yeah, uh, I thought they were at uh, New Fountain Town. Where were they here? No, we it was on your way from. It was on your way from New Fountain to here because you stopped at that yeah, um, at the vineyard. So they're yeah. planted here. So uh, we can use get wine on the go. The place that I can't remember the name of, but in my head gets completed with Martha's Vineyard. Oh, uh, that's kind of that was the inspiration for it. Yes. Um, Ooh. Good second. <laughs> Second found down. Just the theatre of the mood or whatever it was. Called. Yes. And the ghost actors. The, the ghost actors. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I wasn't there for that. But that was a fun session. Um, so, yeah, that, was, um, that was really discovered that Elijah and Clash were dead. Yeah, that was a whole thing. So, um, yeah, if I will um, I will get back to what I need to do because I've kind of taken, I won't say taken leadership, but I've at least been. I'm, the most senior person here, for lack of a better term. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I'm just a general guidance. Um, but if you need me, I'll be I'll be up here. This is my house. So. Yeah. Thank Thank you. It's nice to see you're doing well and you found a, a place that suits you. Yes. It's. Um, I do still. I miss our. Adventuring days where we uh, we went out and through the map. So I might I might go back to that at some point. I might uh, explore. Now that you've got rid of the maelstrom, we can. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, safer for me to go down and have a look. Um, also, your and explore. Our map versus versus yours is. Hmm. Oh, mine is significantly yes. better. Uh, but I was trained to do oh. that. So <laughs> the moment you start thinking that things will be safer is the moment you're already dead. Be warned. Owl. <laughs> That's what that needed. Yeah. I tried yeah. picking some flowers and nearly died as a result. Huh. Good to know. <laughs> a botanist is not. <laughs> and also the That's track. the thing I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's his and one job. <laughs> the it's my thing. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm good at. And it hates me. <laughs> Plants aren't used to being picked, they're too wild. <laughs> you thought you were about to say that, John. I was just so good for us. And, and, the and also, you pick you. you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, obviously, you have to be careful heading down that way because the dragons have probably gone back to their home in the canyon, so best to take a different route. Yeah. Good to know. So maybe we'll sail around the, uh, around the coast. Yeah, yeah watch out with yeah. the giant eagles with two heads. And Sandro crabs and <laughs> storms, storms. Sun storms. Mm -hmm. I feel like I Southern missed... Islands. Are you, Are you miss... sure you missed the adventure? You know what? I'm going to, I think I'm going to stay here. Mm. It's, it's nice up here. I can build a nest. It's reminiscing it's is better than <laughs> adventure. Mm. Looking back, back, you always skirt over the imminent danger. <laughs> are we doing this? That's all right. Every D and D part is why are we doing this? <laughs> I need, I need to win back the favour of the gods. Yeah. Yeah. Surely it's a much quieter, <laughs> peaceful way of doing it. <laughs> yeah. well, you two are running, away, running to something, so... All right. I'm just having an internal no, no, they're not crisis running. at all times. <laughs> Sailing, So whilst flying. this has been going on, what have you been doing? Cassian, new wood. <sighs> Burning woods, <but> escaping. <laughs> no, <laughs> just... It's just kind of like passing the coin in between my fingers and... Thinking more along the lines of, how do I get myself out of this? Any help? What now? I need to deceive a large group of people uh, into thinking that uh, I'm gone. Then you could just leave. I could just leave. But I've come accustomed to like at least one or two of them. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And don't you just think it would be more fun? I do. 
What do you what do you look for? I need I need a way to disguise myself mm. in such a manner that they won't see it as suspicious. They're very accepting, very naive bunch. Hmm. Mm. I feel like it could help you here. Could I ask for the rest of you to leave the room, please? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. It's been so long. Ah. You need this back again. There you go. <laughs> I'm the bad influence. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. No, no, I'll sit in the corner and then we'll, Connor, just... we'll send That's Connor will come and get you and um, close the door, please, Laura. Oh, oh. What? Coin. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, coin. Um, I can certainly. I can give you a way of disguising. You can't rely on your own talents too much. Your natural earned gifts, but I could perhaps disguise you for a while. It wouldn't need to be much, but just enough. What are you, what are you, what are you looking for? What are you aiming to be? I need to be young, innocent, something pure. Hmm. I think we can do this. You're going to need to do something, though. You're going to definitely need to... Um, you're going to have to take a slight sacrifice, I think, to really sell it. What's your price? We're just going to take the memory of your brother. And your family. That could be quite dangerous. Wouldn't it be fun? Is this a permanent sacrifice? This is just to maintain the deception. If it's just to maintain. But certainly, until there comes a point where you need to revert, let's say, then you can have your deception. You will know that you are a deceiver of these people. You will know these people. But there will be a, a fuzz over your brother. He will be... No more. Your father, he will be someone that may be a trigger, if you come across him. It may drip feed the memory, and for that point you will have already achieved deception. This seems all fair. And I will lend you some more power. To suppress what you have innately learned, because I don't think using some of your current abilities will be sufficient. I don't think you could hide what you currently do. If you did any of what you can currently do, it will just give the game away, and that would not be fun. We wouldn't want to ruin the game early. No, we would not. Here's what I need you to do. You're going to need to write something down. Telling them that you have escaped. <laughs> and you're going to need to come in with the next batch of followers. That's the best way to sell it. It seems fair. Your physicality is going to have to change, though. We can't have you two. You. You look too human, so we're going to have to make things quite different. How would you feel about a uh, full makeover? I mean, how full? Oh, I'm talking everything, darling. Don't worry, you can keep your masculinity if that's what you prefer, but... We could certainly take a chance on what you could become. We could have a look at the uh, the race that's happening. Everything is equal here. And I think it would be beneficial for you to not be... As noticeable. Yes. 
Do you have any particular preference? No, in fact, you're know, wanting to shift and see if we could perhaps maybe a change link would be interesting or hmm might be too obvious. Hmm. Let's see. What what do you think? What would you like to have as yourself? What's most roaming around here at the moment? Oh, we're fairly all over. Have you heard of a creature known as the hippo? No. I think that could be entertaining. It could give you a little point of difference. And we can have a little disguise in there. You like to use the eldritch power and draw upon that and fire it out, yes? Mm -hmm. There's a certain creature known as the Gif. You may have come across them in your past life. I have. They are quite proficient with firearms. It's a technology that has not yet arisen here yet. But it could be your calling. You could guide it. You could channel your magic through it as your weapon. That one does sound a lot more enticing. But let it be so. Write your notes and say your goodbyes. Then get the fuck out of here. Toodaloo. You could bring the rest of the uh, group <laughs> back in for me, please. Lambs to the slaughter may return. <laughs> <laughs> the latch. <laughs> oh, temptation to go with something like plasmoid was quite high. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's not like we put this on. I don't like we put this on YouTube, right? I just attached a secret recording device. Oh, she got me a purse. She got me an Evil Queen and Snow White purse. There we go. Oh, I remembered. Anyway. Hold on. Thank you. Can we go back on YouTube and watch what happened? Technically, yes. I can't stop you. So, there's a two-week delay. There is a two-week delay. I think next, actually, next one will be due for the stag week. So. Oh. So, as you guys uh, continue... We have a, sorry, we have a viewing party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't play without me. So, you so, just know you're secretly turning up and we're all going to rest. He's DMing on Friday. He doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's. Uh... So, uh, the rest of you make your way down to the yeah. library. Um, I better stop for a drink first. The waves oh, yeah. lapping against the, uh, the side of the stack. Oh. <laughs> It's a bit floppy horse coming down the street. Um, and as you enter into the library, you look around mm. and you cannot see Elijah. Mm. Well, Elijah! Because I'm on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you never check the vertical space. It's just the blue man group in here, isn't it? There's a few other people just sort of wandering around. A few humanoids just doing if research. I was a. Bullen. I was a pretty much dead, dead person who wanted to come and read some books. Where would I hide? Yes, I'm actually cozied up in a sarcophagus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have to. In a nice reading nook. Yes. <laughs> yeah, cozy. Can I use a blanket? Elijah! Hmm. I'm gonna go look down one of these corridors. Sure. Make a perception check. Yay! I've got a spell for locating people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen. What's the range? <laughs> How long have you been talking to this? <laughs> you look down the corridor, or one of these these stacks. You don't see him. Elijah. Hmm. <laughs> Are there any tracks? <laughs> People in the library go survival check. <laughs> this is not going to work out. For me. What are you looking for? Tracks. <gasps> 
Can Smokey smell? Can Smokey smell like a dog? No, he has no nose. <laughs> he is got no nose. So one of his <laughs> druidic watchdogs. He is a doggo. Druidic watchdog. I think he's just got good perception on him, he's got an angel. Doge activates Doge sense. <laughs> I hear violence. Doge. Doge sense. Five. Five. You find no tracks in this stone room. <laughs> I go back dust. down. Wait, is this the way we get to, like, to the boots? There is a, there's a lift over to one side, but yes. I might head back down and head back to the boats. I'll just the, see um, if he came the turtle. Ask the rude turtle if yeah, he sees it. Yeah, it's a bit of brock, yeah. mm. Anyway, I'll go down. Okay, you come down. Smokey and Turtle. No, Alright, you and Smokey wander down. What, you see Tarquin and Turlemane and Maris working on some of the boats? Hey guys! I look around. Do, are any of the boats missing? Is my boat missing? No. Okay. Hey guys, did them. Did any of my, the, the, the guys on there, did anyone come back here? Has anyone come past? Anyone? I'm turning looks at, um, not that I saw. No. Hmm, there's also a friend. I'm trying to really know where it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see anyone no. here. It's fine. Um, Go on, but Smokey whispers in. <laughs> Smokey insight checks. <laughs> <laughs> You said I was the only one who does What's it. What's a... What is in... in what? Insight's wisdom. No, <laughs> Smokey's, got, Smokey's got better than me, so you know. Hold on. Okay, hey, Smoke. Uh, that's a 17 from Smokey. Smokey. <laughs> Just nods. <laughs> As in, yeah, he's alright. Yeah, he's telling the truth. Sound. Sound loud. It's like a light Smells like, like truth. <laughs> Smell he's not truth. sweating enough. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeks are not clenched. Well, if any, um, if you see any of like my guys coming back here, just, just, just pay attention. Okay. You're doing great work. Thanks. See you later. Goes back to work, very yeah, confused sure. of okay. what's just happened. Yep, yeah, that's me. Won't forget me anytime soon. Um, as you're the rest of you up at the top, mm -hmm. um, and hearing you know various shouts for Elijah, there's a, a human male sort of comes over to you and says, um, I'm sorry, you were looking for Elijah? Yes. I uh, pointed him towards some books earlier, um, over there at that table. He points over to a table, there's three or four books stacked. I'll go and look at the books. You go and have a look. What do they see on the table with those, with those Wait, books? Wait, didn't you meet Henry? Do we That's... know we went and met Henry? That is Henry. That was Henry. Henry. Are you Henry? Yes. Hi. Do we know why Elijah got him in the books in the first place? No. What did Elijah want with you? He wanted me to find some book. You might. About what? Smokey is now on top of my head like this, just looking at you as well. Uh, sniffing for his truth. <laughs> Inside check just by a, the lizard. This is huge. <laughs> What have I started? <laughs> Smells like lies! <laughs> Detective Smokey here! Yes! Um, Bravos. He wanted to... Inspector Smokey! <laughs> Inspector Smokey! Sherlock Smokey! <laughs> Sherlock Smokey! He, um, he wanted to know some information about gravity magic that could transport large places. Smokey insights. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, sorry, too long, I'm sorry. The 17! So, yeah, this is good though, I'm like, I'm not really that sorry. 17 by Smokey! Smoke, Smokey just pats on the head up. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Sick him! <laughs> Fucking <him up. laughs> Smokey lies. <laughs> Yeah, I, I need to win. I need to insight Smokey. See if he insights him. <laughs> so I just don't like him. <laughs> Look at him being all nerdy. Did he give me meat? Did he give me meat? He oh. looked to be funny. Look at him, little bookworm. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, he's me. I can read. <laughs> Ooh, I can understand more than one language. Uh, <laughs> Acting. Look how weird. Smokey believes him. Do I believe Smokey? Oh. <laughs> Make an insight check into Smokey. No, 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 you've dug this hole now. Fucking roll for it. Have you ever insight checked Smokey before? <laughs> oh, wowzy. <laughs> Smokey is I your. I don't believe Smokey. Smokey is your trusted companion. To the companion. very end. 
Smoking is your trusted companion and will never do you wrong. Thank you. And that's where you went wrong. <laughs> well, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> I will leave the lizard. What's on the table, please? What is on the table? It's four boat books and a note. I will What's the note, sir? Read the note. Read the note. I'll read it in the famous Elijah voice with all come to know. Right, right, yeah. Hi, you doing? Hi, you doing? Oh, we all do it in the round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the round. <laughs> One line at a time. To my travel companions. Oh. It is my deepest regret to inform you I have no intentions of paying for my actions in my past or in my future. Do not look for me. Nothing will good nothing good will come of this. Yesaria. Your life is tied to Klaus. As long as he breathes, so do you. We wish you the best and good luck in regaining your oath. Great. Cool. And Klaus, Cassius. Klaus doesn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Horus is a person screen. of interest for you. Oh. And Kyrell, <laughs> prison warden. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. oh. Wait, oh, well, that is insight. That implies that you don't know. Mm. And sorry, and the prison warden. Oh, and yeah. the prison warden, Kyrell. Pow. Dude, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Let the barriers down. It's not good to hide your true self. There are worse monsters than you. Like me. <laughs> but we don't care who we are. Dearest Elijah. <laughs> I really hope there's like the letter no, in Harry Potter. Nothing. Yeah, I like it for Cassian or Smokey. No, it was, no, it was Grit and oh, Cassian. Yeah, it was Grit and Cassian. Nothing, Nothing for Smokey. Smokey. No. Okay. Or Mitch. No. Mitch was probably going to get a better note. The than power this. message was the like, harsh sound. Oh, no. No. Chill, dude. <laughs> so pen up. Right, and then Strap. subsequently to that, uh, what are the four books that are on the table? The four books that are on the table are all about uh, the particular type of magic known as Dunamancy and how these magics are included into different ways of transporting cities. There, is, there was once long ago there was a city that was transported through the sky and different ways of constructing cities. So there was some that floated, some that uh, along the ocean, like woven together as a root of trees and you know that sort of thing to float across. Um, ones that were in the sky, there is all sorts of different township constructions and focuses on items that dealt with Magics of gravity and time. Okay, then more specifically, mm. are there any clues in this book? Like, go to this particular location where you will find out more information about this magic that no. the may have gone to. No. The only thing that... <laughs> Elijah has gone here! <laughs> the, only, the only thing that might give a suggestion is that one of the books, had, the spine has been cracked in such a way that the book naturally falls open when you put it down yes. in that way. Um, it seems to be the most recent entry, or the most recent reading of that section of the book, which was about uh, this magic being possible to lift the city and being theorised to be used so, but needing gemstones in order to do so as a power conduit. Okay. Who's got the gemstone? It's probably in the bag on fire, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Didn't Pal have it? What You've got it. it. He smirked up he just smirked. No, he just smirked. I've had it. I'm just going to check and that's just deferral. Yes. Because it does say that the three gems in it can't be removed for anything. It does, yes. Uh, so but you presumably it does have all three gems in it. Uh, uh, no, no it's got the two dime, the two smaller diamonds. It has not yet got the central. Yeah. yeah. What did yeah. Elijah yeah. have? That one of the importance. <laughs> Oh, well, that. I think he's, he deserves that one, given what he went through to get it. Which one? The, the plane the drink. one that was spinning. Yeah, oh, that was, no, that, that was that the actual one. Oh, you've got that yeah. one. Crypt's got it, it's in the bag holding. The one with all the other planes on it, kind yeah. of yeah. rugby That's ball one style one. thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you've got to say it's in the bag holding and on fire. Okay, yeah. Well, that didn't burn. Uh, um, you split. It's not in the bag of holding. The bag of holding <laughs> the most flammable stuff I'm holding on to. Yeah. Literally, the first item is a book. <laughs> then it's a bundle of wood. <laughs> then it's seeds for apple sized grapes, uh -huh. sheep hide, a wasted dragon tooth, and then some lycanium. 
Mm-hmm. It's just one pound. So we didn't have the... I do not have that. So the so... other items just sort of me, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, this certainly sounds like an item, and... This talk of his actions in the past it certainly sounds pretty close to a confession. Yes, also, he spoke, I believe, a lot of we, like he had a plan with his brother. I read the note, that was the gist, almost, some of the phrasing. Can I, can I read the... I don't know, can you? <laughs> Maybe Is it in common? Sure. No. Yeah, I agree. Fair enough. Uh, Hastily written. Quick look at whether we'll have to see if it's oh and now I depart for. PTA. It says we wish you the best and good luck in when you're talking about mm. you're sorry your life is tied to Klaus, and as long as he breathes, so do you. We wish you the best and good luck in gaining your oath. Mm. It might have just been a th- that just might have been a kind of ha <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. We made you. But good it luck. also half implies that. Mm. It is not going to be alone, or he's talking about him and his... Let's be fair, he's not going to make it me, around me much by himself. <laughs> yeah, you and Rigo. He's not going to survive that long by himself, is he? He barely survived with all of you, Well, so. that's what I mean. So, uh, about that, he's not going to wander off. So Where's he, he going to go? He might be somewhere in the city, then. If he's not going to wander off, there's lots of empty houses. He's wandered off. He's not going to stay here. Why would he? He's probably gone off to find his brother. Because he's like just to hide. He likes better things. Hmm. What's the benefit? Not the risk of. What's the benefit of searching? For him. Mm. What are we going to do? Stops him turning more people. True. If we catch him. Hmm. Well, if he didn't leave by the ship, you went to check on that, didn't you, Cassia? Yeah, no, then when we went down. I just smoked him. the other way out was the bridge. Yes. That we know of. That we know of. But we can sure head up to the bridge to see if anyone watches it to see if anyone go by. Or he could still be here. Just mm. hidden somewhere in the city. Or even just in this room. <laughs> Could be right next to us. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> I assume Varma wasn't there before. <laughs> Hiding in the blue man goop. Scooby Doo style. Just opens one eye. And... Um. Hmm. That's a just point, actually. So. The, this library is sort of. shelves mm-hmm. in a room. Is there sort of space. Between the top of the bookshelves and the ceiling? Uh, no, not really. Flying flat. No, the bookshelves the book book go floor to ceiling. Oh, okay. Right. I think he's probably gotten as far away from us as possible. Let's have a quick check through the library and make sure. I mean, I shouted really loud and he didn't come <laughs> out. Make sure nobody other than Henry's in here. There are other people in here, I think, wasn't there? There are. There are a few other acolytes who are going around doing some research. Apprentices who are looking to learn a craft. Wow. Uh, excuse me, people. Sorry to interrupt you. This will only take a minute. Um, we look. Uh, hang on. No, sorry. Cousin Alex. Hmm. Sorry. No. <laughs> oh, Rewind. I, I realised I was about to do some meta gaming, and so I'm stopping. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um. We. Because I was thinking, I overheard the thing about him wanting to be hidden, but Izari didn't hear that. Yes. So I wouldn't have any reason to suspect the skies or anything. No, we just. Well, we know he's just. He's, he's, he's just gone. Yeah. He's run. Well, yeah. So look around, don't see Elijah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, if he's gone. What are we gonna do? Was there anything else left on the table? Ah. Okay. No coin? Absolutely <laughs> not. Have you got rid of your coin? Just in a pocket. Not a lot of use. Still there? 
Yeah. 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 I'm setting sail as it speaks. Do we still need to go back to Seven Home? I think still so, yes. If he's given us that lead, Horace. Well, Horace is dead. Horace was also at Newfound Town. But he said that he he was a link. Yeah, but he doesn't know didn't know that he was dead because we I killed him. Oh we right, yep. And Kyrell? That is a lead, but also a powerful individual politically. At the same time. And maybe physically. Is he physically powerful? Uh, do we know if he's got like if, yeah is he just like a jailer or is he like a the jailer yeah, yeah. he's he's the jailer yeah so he is a he's a physically robust gentleman um but he does he's off voice yeah he yeah you need to hang people just hold his arm up. um <laughs> no his um he is a he is a physically robust man and he is a little he has got that sort of Sneeriness to him, the sort of a snake style. Mm. Uh, Does he have to, like, oh, magical in any way, particularly not the, anyway? Yeah. Not that's ever been demonstrated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. So it's not been demonstrated. So clearly, doesn't have a he likes the whole nineteen. Was it? Yeah. So, uh, but he, I mean, he does have people who work with him. Obviously, because they were able to capture you. Um, He's so there are there are others that no. he, <laughs> work with him. He is it's just he is in charge of that discipline. He does lead the prisoners into doing their various things. But whatever happened with the experimentation, you've got no idea. Yeah. If if there was that many people that disappeared because one of them died, mm-hmm. how many other people are there because the other one was well, out? Oh, they. You're thinking that I don't know really how it works because. Could there be one? Could Horace have made more? No. I think he did. No, I'm thinking, who did Klaus make? Well, yes, there's a They're all going to stick together. Yeah. Ideally. Particularly if the other groups just disappeared. Right? They're so going to be. Those might be numbered. We might get a lead with that. Not for him. But. But also. Figure out what's going on. The widespread of it all. It might be that they weren't all. Elijah's because they could have been grandfathered. Elijah, I don't know how it works. Elijah could have converted Horace. Horace could have converted someone else. But if you kill Elijah, then Horace disappears, and then that kills the next one in one in the line. It's a domino effect. Yes. Yeah. So it might have been. I don't even know what the difference. Yeah, who did? Who did? Who? But still, if there's a, a lineage with Klaus. Still kicking about. Yeah. The likelihood is Hello. they're gonna know. Yeah. There, there, there could have been people beforehand. Who knows how Can many? Can you convert other people? Do you know? Well, I don't know. I, I, I mean, honestly, it not occurred to me to try. Then we didn't know how many people there were before. I was gonna say you realise this. this is not the first plane I've been to. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> Hundreds of years oh my old. God, so many people in other planes have just died. Um, so many porn <laughs> So much dust in my area. Kind of like, the snap has just yeah, happened. Yeah. It was the biggest serial killer by killing Brian. She was a hand that killed you. If, if Klaus had no. Gravity killed. Um, gravity the biggest killer of them all. <laughs> Don't fuck with gravity. You will no. find out. <laughs> if, if, if there are some. People back at some home with a connection to Klaus. Maybe they'd be able to. That won't be a lead to finding him. I don't know if they'll need him. They'll need us to him, but it might give us an idea of what's happening in the village. At the very least, we need to let people know what's going on. Mm. By the sounds of it, the twins made and ran, and they didn't really care who they left behind. Apart from you, but uh, if Klaus... I point out that both now have left me behind. 
Not all of us, don't take it personally. Um, What's awesome? But if, if, they don't, if they didn't hesitate at creating you, what's the likelihood they didn't hesitate at creating complete strangers? Heck, our whole village could be vampires, and we don't know about it. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. I was just saying, what's interesting is Elijah even left a note. He cares. Or he just got rid of the ego. That too! That could be two things. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my guess. I'm so nice to you as well. Didn't you How, what do you think? Well, those walls. Hal <laughs> is visibly angry. Okay. Uh, but not going to say anything. You just sat there seething. Mm-hmm. So I will say your DC increases. Yeah. Yes, I don't know what this is, but I've done some. You have done some. You have not even here. Okay, so it probably won't do any good, but let's go and check the bridge. Sure. And then I keep my eye on Bat, looks like he's going to throw himself off of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And then... I don't know, do we go straight for Seven Oak? I still feel like, well, now I feel even more like it would be a good idea to have a good idea to work backwards. Work backwards. Maybe we go New Found Town to see how many have missing from there. Um, see how many have appeared there. Follow the room down afterwards. Hmm. Let me trace our steps. Do we have a way of identifying? I think I can still sense okay. the undead. How did Win? How did Winston know that? How did Winston know Azaria looked dead and off when we couldn't even tell the twins did? Yeah. Can I look different to how I did before? Yeah, Winston. Right. Winston knew Azaria for quite a long time beforehand, so Pretty there's a cover up a lot. <laughs> So there is a there was a very very clear physical difference between right. Asara pre and post transformation. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas that was always how you had seen those two. Mm-hmm. It's like if you turned up something with a tan, we'd notice the difference. Absolutely. Yeah, right. I mean, harsh <laughs> much. I mean, it wouldn't be me. That's fair. I'd be replaced. Yeah. If I t- if I turn pale and gaunt, you know, then you'd realise there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I mean, you and me both. Um, maybe it might be worth going back and seeing if we do recognise anyone that might have been turned. Yeah. See how many people have gone missing. See how many people have sprung up. There's new life everywhere. See if the turtlenecks really kicked off in certain places. Yeah? <laughs> They're all wearing cravats yeah. for some reason. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the pop collar's really in the seven home. The nightlife is just... <laughs> <really> <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> They've got 50 people in the day, the night! Oh my oh, god! It's to die for a <laughs> Life but changing. I suppose the one bright spot is I don't think either of them had any chance to change anyone here. Correct. This might be our safe haven. <laughs> oh, when, unless Elijah is still hiding here. In which case, if we go off, he would have that chance. Yes. You did also have that four day or so where you stopped here to replenish before you headed to deal with the Melchior Mark. You came back from the Dragon. There could be some here. Either way, we should tell Winston. Yeah, if, I mean, if we could get everyone together, I could do a detection. Do we hang out by the temple? They seem to frequent. Is it like a morning prayer? Are you going to get like a lot of people coming in? There is a, there are you know I mean? there are prayer sessions that people do go to. There's usually a morning and an evening mass. Often vampires will take part in morning prayer. Mm. In the bright <laughs> yeah. sunlight. In a temple. Mm. <laughs> but there, there do seem to be, particularly with the pattern of work and the way that people are going, there does seem to be some degree of piety that does occur. Um, Obviously, you are getting into the winter months, which means it's happening later and later in the day. But there is generally a dawn. There. From Seven Home, you know there's generally a yeah. dawn and dusk. Not service per yeah. se, but people gather, pray together, and then leave, yeah. kind of thing. So, bridge, and then t- oh, we probably need to talk to Winston about yeah. this, don't we? Let him yeah, know what might be going on here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh dear. It's trying to bring him more troubles. Alright, so you head up and head make your way towards the the bridge. Are there any guards? <laughs> people that want to watch the bridge? There are a couple of people that not necessarily watch the bridge, but um, there's a couple of people that stand on the outer walls of the city that sort of keep an eye out and just sort of not mention general sentries, just that anything coming, going. Just keeping an eye on things. As you're sort of approaching, you can't really you can't see beyond because of walls, but you do hear them saying, Looks like we got a new batch coming in. So you patch of wireless that I was reading. So yeah, that's just all it was. Oh, was you patch. Here's a guy. Here's a guy. Maybe Here's a guy. some more honey. Uh, buy you her once. Arrivals of honey. We'll find out. Let's go up and talk to the guards. Yeah. Okay. You, you can't be outside the stairs and you see you that these two, um, both of them humans, just sort of stood there, one male, one female, just sort of stood casual. They're quite relaxed. On their, their duty, they've got these, this nice wall to sit on there, just sort of keeping an eye out on things. They patrol around a little bit, keep an eye on stuff. Um, female sees you approach me. Um, hi, what, uh, what's up? What's going on? Um, we seem to have lost one of our travelling companions, and we think that he may have gone off on his own. Has anyone come out across the bridge today? Uh, yes, because and people go to work and the anyone, fields. Anyone not from around here? Anyone you didn't recognise? Anyone new? I think there's people new all every day. We can really keep track of everyone. I think there's some people that turned up last night that we don't know yet. Anyone in a three-piece suit that looks far too cocky for their own ego? Spot on. You hear behind you. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> <laughs> right, we beat him out with his ego. Ah. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Hateful one! To a T! <laughs> sure. Uh, no, no one fitting that description, my friend. I don't think he came this way. I um, would have been too obvious, maybe. Can I just have... One minute. Okay. And I will cast... How wide is the bridge? Uh, it's not like a... 15 foot. Okay, perfect. It's a rude question to ask a bridge first time. <laughs> Actually, probably, yeah, no, it's a little wider because they are made, they did expand it to transport oh, goods across. Less than 30 yeah, feet. Yeah, it's about 20, 20 feet. Excellent. Me? I will cast Alarm, please. Okay. Now, I can choose... Mm -hmm. Who sets it up? Who says, who, who doesn't set it up? Ah, everyone. And so I but choose everyone Elijah. but Eliza. <laughs> everyone in the watch does not set this alarm off. But Eliza. <laughs> okay. Or Klaus? Or, or Klaus. I guess or Klaus. Okay. Take your first hands. So effectively the gateway the extension of the here. Place. Yes. Okay. And so long as I'm within one mile, I will get a mental ping that it has been triggered. Okay. The entire span of this city is greater than a mile, but you could set up residence near sure. this side. I will. If you want to. I mean, I can just hold fire here whilst. Yes, whilst. Okay. What would yeah, you like your notification sound to be? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not teams! No! <laughs> I just want to. Like just simple. Like R2G2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you, you set the alarm up as the this new as you were standing having this conversation, you did notice there was maybe another five people that were sort of How you doing, confusedly wow. walking their way across the bridge and coming towards you. Um, they all sort of passed through them. Um, it's a looks like a dwarf, uh, an elf like someone should probably be someone human. should be checking these. Chicken what? Chicken who? Chicken what? Chicken what? <laughs> Random people walking across the bridge. Why? We just not have this discussion that someone may be looking for someone. I just thought there might be a few more looks going out than coming in, but sure. I, I know what Eliza looks like. I will think off a divine sense. And you can just quote figures with just anything, right? You set off a divine sense, you sense only one undead presence, and it is yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh shit, I forgot! <laughs> God damn! 
He's here. <laughs> He's right behind. He's right there. <laughs> oh, wait. He's, He's under, following me. He's under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as they sort of go past, you yeah, see that there is okay. an elf, a dwarf, um, another satyr, yeah. um, like creature, a large grey hippo like humanoid, yes. um, and a. I don't know why people are laughing at the hippo. Concept. Hippo! What's wrong with the hippo? It's like a tortoise. It's like the turtle. Hippo! <laughs> yeah, the turtle. Um, and, a, and an owlin. Um, with sort of black, all black feathers. Um, just sort of confusedly making their way across. Not Towards us? Uh, across the bridge, making their way sort of towards the temple. Yes. yes. Aggressively. This is... He posted number one kid. I think all of you are second generation, aren't you? Apart from you, well, you were... See? Yeah, you're all second generation, aren't you, before yeah. you... I am a question mark. You're a question mark, Ooh. but you were you were raised from a from Hi. childhood, so you oh, were. I'm a potential. A so <laughs> Unlikely to be the first generation. Indeed. Even if you were, you would not remember it. Indeed. Um, from we've, descriptions, we've that, seen people coming out. Of the you've woods seen people before. come out of the woods in Seven Home, looking a bit confused and sort of making their way towards the temple, which seems to be their mind, it, sort of their basic approach um, of where they they should be guided oh. to. It makes more sense that the extra statue was added and then people started coming here rather than we turned up and then oh, the gods kind of selected the place. We... That makes more sense. Oh, <laughs> talk you so, ruined They talk about mine. So <laughs> when the turtle was a bit rude about us, it was probably justified. Yeah. <laughs> well, Beden is the god of knowledge who, yes. gives, who was the one that gave each of yes. you your designation yes. of what you are meant to yes. do. So yes, that is literally their job. So he <laughs> creates people to tell them what to do. What an asshole. <laughs> well, they, they create people it's that come to bureaucracy. <laughs> yeah, they create the people that are for the need of the civilization. He, they are a what to do. Basically, yes. But they are the god of, they are the god of civilization, effectively. So they they know what is needed to ensure the civilization yeah, success. Out of way. Dead guy. Five arrows hit the scene. <laughs> <laughs> and a fireball. From an angry pal. Yes. For I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you broke his Is the there heart. anything else you wish to do after watching these people sort of walk? We need to go and talk to Winston, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I can't leave. More than a mile from here, so I'm going to just sit here, I well, guess. Find a house nearby, yeah. there should be that they can well, Yeah, I'll do some house exploring. Yeah, go house hunting. Yeah. Make an investigation check. Where's the SD? Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 the book by the Thankfully, one of the people that crossed the bridge is a realtor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a classic two, be- two and a half bath. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? Who's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do it was disappointing, it was crit. Oh, okay, crit. Off my foot. Take it, take it. I'm going to roll another one, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You're actually going to be great for it, uh, 17. 17. Though. You are able to find yourself a very nice uh, home that's uh, at whatever elevation you want. If it's high enough so that you can see over the walls, you can look out over the flowers and the bees. Yes, that that's bridge. Sucks. Okay, so you're able to sort of go about halfway up over the walls and you find one that's got a nice little terrace that you can do from the master Beautiful. bedroom. Uh, that looks just out over there. It's got a nice little spot. Um, kitchen, which is okay. Could do with a little bit of touching up to, sort of, uh, to do, but you've got enough. You expand. You've got enough uh, capabilities that you could just sort of deal with that yourself. <laughs> I'm asking this question. I'm not yeah, necessarily going to do it. Yes. I'm asking the question. Are the residences around this one vacant as well? And follow-up question. Are there any walls I can smash down to expand? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of these houses are conjoined. They're okay. semi, at least semi, if not terrace. <sighs> no. <laughs> you want to touch up your semi? Is that what you want, Ross? <laughs> Do you want to expand it? Okay. You want to expand your semi? No, this <laughs> Okay. You can knock down the. Uh, yeah, if, if you yeah, want to, you can knock. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Knock down the back door. You are, if you wish to, you can uh, knock two of the houses together and make a super house. Make a smaller baby. <laughs> so 
So yeah, you are you can crack on and do that as you so wish. The rest of you making your way up towards the uh, not towards the temple. Um, you see, the, you follow the the five that were making their way. Up there. We walk into the temple. Yeah, how do you think we're going to introduce a new character in this scenario? It's perfect for it. It's like, which one? I was hiding in one of the houses, but then this guy just came in and smashed the back wall. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors up. Yeah, I was hiding in the closet. This guy just fucking ran I, I just picked the. No, I picked the house next to the one you're hiding in and just smashed the wall through. The house just comes up from behind the house. Here's Clinton. Yeah. Oh, thank God he didn't come into. <laughs> Don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. Don't crack, don't crack, don't crack, don't crack, don't crack, don't crack, don't crack. Yeah. Coin platters. Alright, so. <laughs> ah, shit. You make your way back up to the temple. It's a little bit later in the day now, probably four, five ish. The sun is going down, it's starting to get dark. And this is when you are starting to see that the vast majority of people are now gathering for an evening of prayer. And that's sort of in that general surrounding area around the temple. Around the, the Zenith Parthenon, effectively. I want to try and get to a place with a good line of sight and then ping off another divine sense. Okay, can you stand on you? Off the divine sense. Can you sense no undead within. It's a 30 foot range. Isn't You're it? cured! <laughs> <laughs> the whole room turns. <laughs> the only natural I'm terrified of. Anything within 60 feet. 60 feet, me? okay. Uh, you do not detect any undead other than yourself within 70 feet. 60 feet. feet. Good. You're enough to cover most of the plaza? Most of the plaza, not quite all of it. It does not quite cover the entire I'll, I'll, I'll do it twice so I can cover a yeah. different location. Nothing, so nothing catches up with you, nothing pings. Is Winsome there? Winsome is there. Okay, good. <laughs> no, he's hanging from the ceiling upside down. <laughs> Bat wings. <laughs> 61 <laughs> feet up. <Yeah. laughs> Pythagoras is Scrooge. <laughs> is he leading a service or is he just sort of there? He is just having a, a general conversation, and sort of, uh, but he's not ha he's not leading any service per se, but he is sort of chatting to the the new people who are a little bit lost, looking for guidance, he's making introductions, sort of the, the guild leaders, for lack of a better term, and sort of guiding people off into their different... It's just it's everyone's arrived beautiful. at the same time to pray rather than there being like a formal gathering. Correct, yeah. yeah. People are just sort of coming in to enjoy the, the evening and gather after a day of work. Sort of village, com village coming together, yeah, it's a little bit more social. Okay, we, we can wait till it's dealt with the newcomers. We need to get them somewhere for private again. I'm right here. We need to be listening. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll let him deal with the newcomers. First, we need to get him somewhere private again. Okay. Mm. I mean, he's just talking to people. Yeah, well, I've checked the crowd and they all seem clear. I think he's gone. I think we're wasting our time. We still need to let Winsome know and... See if I he mean, wants us to do anything here. Like what? What are we going to do? Check more people? I mean, if we've got most of the people here and nothing is pinging... Is it effort? No. Like it's only it, the new people. It, no, it's, it's the majority of the... There's, a, there's about 70 odd people here now, so this is the, this is the majority of the likelihood populace. likelihood is that they haven't touched this place. If you're not feeling that. That's a, that's a good point, actually. Elijah would know to hide, but anyone else wouldn't. wouldn't. I don't think they got here. In all honesty, I don't think they're the sort of people that are going to make that many people. From my personal point. Like Grit said, those people that went missing were probably from one person that they may have turned that couldn't control themselves as much. They've turned people that have barely been alive decades. These guys have been alive for quite a while. If there's yeah, no one here is pinging, they ain't got to this point. point. Yeah. Oh, they just sat in the middle of the temple. Ow, what? They don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we, we, need to, we still need to talk to Winston when he's got a moment, but yeah, yeah that's, that's reason for optimism. 
and then we head backwards. Elijah's not stupid enough to turn people here, knowing that there aren't already people here. It's like raising a great big flag, saying, hey, I'm still here. He might be egotistical enough. Hmm? He might have a be, might have a big enough ego to do that. I don't think so. I really want in the background of this conversation that's going on, someone's just been speared and took... <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Open from Buffy, just someone just, yeah. just pulled back into the shadow. Yeah. Just to the camera. Wait. I don't... Again. <laughs> I don't think his aim was to turn people. I just don't think that was all classes. I think it was just something unfortunately that happened. But it wasn't their aim. Yeah, you're an accident. You were playing. You were an accident. <laughs> so I think he's gone. He has no reason to stay. Why would he stay anywhere near us? The people that want to bring him to justice. But equally, as we've asked, where would he go? He knows how dangerous it is to wander the wilderness alone. They've been doing that for ever. They're literally hiding from the most dangerous man in the world. They, they, they had his, he, had, he at least had his brother before, and Klaus was a lot better at fighting. Yeah, they'll find each other eventually. Or they'll just find some other people to protect. They'll join a new group. What's the likelihood people have left from everywhere else? Anyway, what were you um, saying, pal? Sorry, did you work? No people. Speaking. If there's if there's one thing he's good at, it's fighting. He'll probably find some other people to protect him. Mm. Mm. New friends. How oh, that hurts. Well, it makes our life simpler in many ways. <sighs> Until he tries to use them to eliminate the threat to him from the only people who know about him. Oh, he's not that conniving. He's got to know we'll tell Why does he want to kill us? If he wanted to kill us, he would have just killed us in our sleep. Or why, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. If he wanted us dead, he would have made it so. There's a few, you're getting a few looks from people now, and just like <laughs> if he wanted us dead, he would have slit your throat in the exactly. <laughs> Who's so roaming this currently We've seen inside the local church, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> proclaiming he could have killed us if he wanted to. Yeah, I mean, we saw him struggle to kill an unconscious goat. <laughs> <laughs> almost insulting that they got you. Maybe it was Klaus that had all the skill. Either way, they would have killed us pretty early on. I mean, hell, he managed to get away from us in the middle of a library. We literally let him go. He has no reason to think we're a threat. So when we let him, just let me walk away. We let him un- Accompanied. Oh, see you later, guys. I'm just gonna go to the library. Alright, see you in a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking you to the prison at five, though, yeah, so. Yeah, be back, be back. We'll be here this far. Yeah. <laughs> equally, he could have got away other times if he wanted to. Exactly, and he didn't. He just hung around. Yeah. He did. Yeah. He's probably thought, uh, oh, safe to go for a while. There's civilization here. Maybe they're a bit further out. Maybe he is hiding. Do you want to explore the entire city? I'd like to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> My step on it. <laughs> I kept, how many cells were I done, Smokey? Like well, <laughs> I say, we'll talk to Winston when he's got a moment to see if he wants us to try and do that. At this point, you look over to see what Winston is up to, and there's two things you notice. First, the crowd that was around you has sort of dispersed a little bit. <laughs> Good. The conversation has been a little bit concerning. 
Good, they were too close to me anyway. Um, you can see Winsome is leading the five newcomers in the uh, the prayers that you are all familiar with and leading them into that discussion of the prayers of Step of Veden. Um, one of them, the, the sort of the hippo like individual, sort of knelt in prayer, lifts their head and just turns and locks eyes with you. Oh. And that is where we will pick up next time. Oh. <laughs> oh, initiative. Oh. It's interesting. Like your job is to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Make them. <laughs> I, warfare. I, am, I am Hippo, the Chiefling Slayer. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, things have happened. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much everybody. We shall pick this up next time. We'll go and... Don't forget to check out some of the other stuff that we're I doing here. a single note. Oh, damn it, Laura. So Tom has friend of those for everyone. Except that haven't because I missed the whole of the end of that. That's okay. Oh well. Luke still does a recap. I do. So thank you very much everyone for joining us. If you like what you see here, hit the like, subscribe, check out some of the other stuff we've been doing on the channel. Shut the fuck up. And if we'll... you don't like what you see, also like and subscribe. Do do that. <laughs> do that. That's nice. Do, do that. Yeah. Uh, but yes, so if you want to check out, like, subscribe, do all the stuff, check out our board game content. We're doing our streaming on Mondays on twitch.tv slash e uh, sorry, slash Game Emporium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I like you named it. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. I, do, you know what, do you know what it was? It's because I looked back at one of the old videos to try Reminisce. and remind myself over some of the notes, and it was, well, it was Equipped Survive. Yeah. And it's Reminisce. because this show is Equipped Survive, so it's fine. We're doing uh, these really Equipped Survive. It's all part of the show. Um, but yeah, do all those things and check out some of our things like Top of the Box, where Ross and I were talking about board games. We recently did our Top 50 and an analysis yes. of our Top 50, which is, is true. Which was actually was kind of interesting. We did some weird stuff with that. We need that super cut. We, yeah, there'll be Top 100, Smash or Pass. That's ready to go, so I'll probably go out next Wednesday. Um, which will have been last Wednesday when you see this. Who knows? Time is Wednesday. weird. Time's weird too. Wibbly wobbly time loin roll. Don't forget to ring that bell. And, and like that like button. <laughs> like button. Smash that bell and like that like button. Lick just the like, like button. Just like it. Don't just look at it and appreciate it. That's really <laughs> nice. That, that is a like nice bell. <laughs> of all the like buttons I've seen out there, this is the likiest. Until then, thank you very much, everyone. Good night. We've been weird today. <laughs> Good. That's how it should be.